You guys have been stealing names since then. Damn, that's what's yeah, going on. It, yeah, this isn't something new. People thought I was famous because I was taking pictures outside with my family. So there was like mm-hmm. people stopping, going like, can I take a picture with you? And I was like, you won't be disappointed when you realize I ain't that famous before. <laughs> uh, Colin's going to make fun of me, but I'm always promoting YouTube Premium because you get YouTube music for free. <laughs> <laughs> and now a sponsor from our ad. What's up, everybody? We are back. It's Freddy Korea, and we have an awesome, awesome smash cast. It's a swap cast, but it's a smash cast because we got in the house. First of all, I got Colin. What's up? What up? All what the way up? from Philly. What up? Yeah, man. And then I got uh, Daniel, a.k.a. Lyrical, and Jesus Pasos from Thanks for the Invite podcast in Texas. What up? What's up, guys? What's going on? Finally, all of us on. All of us doing this. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, how did you guys find out about us? It was funny because that was my first question to y'all. But I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, we had a listener, which, um, I, you know, and this was like kind of not early, but I guess mid of our podcast or whatever. But we had a listener named Edgar Alviso. Yeah, uh, I know Edgar. A, yeah, so he just listens to us. We, we, don't, we actually don't know him. We just started listening to us, and he sent us uh, a clip, I believe, of you guys talking about uh, Thanks for the Invite podcast. And at first, I was like, yo, they're probably talking shit, bro. Like, they're, like, they're probably going in. Like, someone stole our name because we looked you up, and you had more episodes than us. I'm like, oh, they've been out longer. And I was like, oh, shit, like, maybe they, yeah, we you know. stole their name. Yeah. And uh, no, and then you guys were like, oh, you know, there's another podcast and stuff. And that's how we heard about you. And we were like, oh, like, it was – it. At first, I thought he was kind of like, I was like, maybe they're talking about different things for the end by podcast. Like, there's no way, like, I thought California, I like, there's no way for people in California to have hearing from Fort Worth. And then uh, when we heard the actual clip, we were like, oh, shit, they're, you know, movies, you know, they talk about games and stuff. I was like, I think that's us, you know what I mean? <laughs> Unless there's another nerd podcast. Bro, we're, it's like a, a fucking multiverse, bro, a multiverse mm-hmm. or whatever, dude. It's yeah, fucking Marvel nuts. And DC colliding right now. Are you guys yeah. Marvel fans or DC before we go? Oh, uh, shit, bro. I, I'll i let Colin answer have. first. Uh, I mean, I don't read a lot, but I, I marvel just – I like the movies personally okay. more. The, the, the DC is cool because it can go dark, but they never mm-hmm. seem to make them any good. They seem to all just suck shit. <laughs> I'm about to cry right now. I love Batman vs. <laughs> Superman. Especially Look at that poster <laughs> right there. <laughs> but no, I, I, but, but I, as, even as a DC fan, I completely understand. Um but where, how did how did you guys hear about us? Like starting off. Oh well, I'm a comic, so uh, I don't know if you know this or if you know any comics, but we're very like uh, self centered and we Google ourselves all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I Google myself all the time as well. <laughs> Always, I'm like, look, mom, I'm on Google still. Yeah. So actually, it was like I was. I want to say maybe like two, three years ago, somebody sent me a link of another things for them. But it was a, a guy and a girl. I don't know if you looked it up before, but oh, yeah, um, I've seen that. One. You've seen them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they they did it for a little bit. Um, I think they just did it through like audio for a little bit, and then they just kind of fizzled off. And I remember I I was googling it to see if they were still doing it. And then I saw you guys. I'm like, oh shit! Now another one popped up. <laughs> I'm like, god yep. damn. So then uh, that's how I found out about it. But then, of course, the listeners, um, I would get hit up then after that. But I, I found out before the listeners told me about it. I was just like, oh, yeah, it's cool. Because, you know, the first thing people will tell you right away is like, oh, that ain't cool. That And I'm not going to lie. At first, I was like, man. But I'm like, you know what, dude? That's the like to get to get upset or get worked up for something like that is like, I didn't invent the words thanks. I didn't invent the word invite, mm-hmm. the, you know, for. That's all. We could all come up with the same fucking formula, you know? Yeah. So, no, it yeah, shit happens. Right. Shit happens like that all the time. So, I was Ooh. like, and plus, you guys are cool. You know? <laughs> I like you guys. That. Appreciate yeah. Appreciate <laughs> that. Yo, you guys, too. What was, the, what was the reason for you guys coming up with thanks for the invite? Like, what was the, like, concept of, like, all right, this is why it's going to be called thanks for the invite? Right on. Cool. Damn it. I had that question too. (laughs) (laughs) I think we all have the same questions. Um, We're from the, just multiverse. We're literally just mirroring each other right now. (laughs) So um, it's crazy because I actually, most of my family is from Texas. I got roots in Texas. What part? Uh, El Paso, Houston. 
uh, mainly Houston, but like mm -hmm. my mom's from uh, Juarez, Chihuahua. Okay. And that's where she met my dad in El Paso. So, um, mm -hmm. but anyway, as a kid, I'll tell you the very first time I said it out of like spite, my, my older, <laughs> my older sister, uh, Gloria, she took my nephews to Disneyland and her husband, and I'm only four years older than my nephews. So it was, it was more like I grew up with them like brothers and sisters. So I was butthurt that oh, yeah. they went to Disneyland. They didn't even mention it to me. I used to live up in Reno, Nevada. And I remember when I found out, my sister was like, next time I'm going to take you, okay? And I, I think I was maybe 10 or something. I'm like, no, when I'm 14, I'm going to go find myself a job and I'm saving up money I'm, and I'm, I don't need you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go by myself. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> <laughs> The fact yeah, dude. that you're saying that is wild, that's bro. A because that's kind of story this, than that. that. Yeah, that's kind of the same concept yeah, for that. Not like a four year old, nurse. but it was the <laughs> same as like our friends, you know, like, oh, always going out or something, or you have a group of friends yeah. and you're like, thanks for the invite, bro. Like, what the fuck, man? And it was it's fun. Insane. It's fun to say. Right? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> and then you just, you just shorten out the TFTI. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if Perfect. somebody's getting married, right? Somebody posted a, then it became an inside joke with me. Uh, I would say to my friends, I have other phrases I've said before, but like this is the one that was mine that I would like, I, I would go and put TFTI on a wedding picture. And it's like, there's no way they could have invited me, mm -hmm. but just to make him feel bad, <laughs> you know, that kind of, <laughs> so it came it became like an inside joke. So like, uh, when I decided to start a podcast 2013, uh, I was looking for a name and like I said, I have other phrases. Mm -hmm. so here's here's another phrase i have that's it's pretty stupid uh it it just you know how when people say um i just bought a camaro and they're like you're a camaro you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah you know that kind of like you just throw it back like you you have cancer no you have cancer you just I, well i haven't heard that in so long that time <laughs> of life. come back yeah. to somebody you're a hooker <laughs> <laughs> stop acting like like uh stop being anxious you're anxious you know like yeah. well one of them was um if somebody said something like uh i'm kind of hungry and uh, you wish you were hungry i would just throw you wish for some reason mm -hmm. and that it my, my podcast could have been named you wish podcast <laughs> And it worked out the best. No, damn, dude, that would yeah. work well with uh, OnlyFans. You could have interviewed a bunch of OnlyFans people, bro. That yeah, been dude, cool. you wish. Well, it would have been that's confused a... with Make a Wish, maybe. And make a wish. That's true. A lot that's of true. people's uh, wishes to come yeah. through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah You're dude. about to be disappointed. <laughs> Ain't no way. So my wife, she's the one that said, "Why don't you just name it?" Thanks for the invite. And I'm like, "Wait a minute, yeah, that's what I say all the mm -hmm. time." So yeah, it just stuck, and we went with that one. That's how, and then, uh, yeah, that's how we, we've been doing it for, we, you know, what's crazy, dude. We're actually turning 10 years, uh, oh. this month. I don't know what date. I need to go back and see when wow. I first uploaded. Damn. So do yes. you, not, you guys don't record every, every week you guys like, I mean, I know you guys record no. frequently, but there's times where you guys kind of have like little gaps. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It used to be every week and I, Bro, I don't know how you guys do it with you got a producer, you said, because I do everything on my own and mm -hmm. shit, that's a lot of work. God damn. Yeah, I just it, I just started doing is. video. Yeah. Just oh, recently? Yeah, just it, in October last year. It is a lot of work. Um uh, for I have so I'm I'm a filmmaker and I have a small film studio, so that's why we're able to do it consistently. Like I think if it wasn't for that, we might be like audio, you know, video sometimes or then, you know, mm -hmm. every other week type of thing. But the fact that I'm, I think I'm on everybody, and then I have my team, Juan and Wolf, are a part of Spectre, so we're consistently on each other. On like, if we're gonna do something, we have to at least consistent. If like, what if we get one view or two views? Like consistency, just stay consistent. So especially that, you know, we're not big known people. You know, I'm a filmmaker, so I'm I'm behind the camera, so a lot of people don't see yep. my face and like, oh, I want to follow him. They're just mm -hmm. they don't, and and lyrical's barely getting back in the music industry. So like now, nice. more people are following us because they're seeing his face. Like all over TikTok and stuff, but you know, before it was just hidden in the back for both of us. Yeah. But it, it, it is a lot That's of work cool. though, for sure. It is right. So do you do the editing or uh, the producer? So I, uh, so Juan does everything on set. So he records, he'll set up the, you know, all the stuff here on, on set. Uh, and then I do the editing uh, because we have another podcast, uh, Osos Golosos that we also produce. So Juan uh, specifically sticks to editing that podcast, him and Wolf. 
Uh, that mm-hmm. way we don't burn ourselves out on like, yeah. oh, I got to do two podcasts a week and they're hour, hour and a half each. You know, it, it gets a little for sure overwhelming at times. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. But you guys, so you guys do it every week. Every week mm-hmm. you release episodes. Every week. Yeah. We record Monday. We release Wednesdays. That's dope, bro. That's good. So Props we make to you guys. consistently too. So we're, we're promoting every day. Just like, oh, look at this. You know what we said here. Boom, 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 boom. Like, so yeah. it's a consistency of, yeah, I mean. Mm-hmm. Every week. Yeah, that that's great, man. <laughs> um, I'll I'll be honest too. Uh, one of the things that somebody brought up to me uh, when I took a break, uh, I took a break last year because my dad passed away. So I took, I think I took almost the whole year off, Ooh. and I didn't come back until October. I was just, you know, I, I focused on comedy. I'm like, I'm gonna continue doing comedy, but I just the podcast needs to stay. It needs to wait for a little bit. So anyway, someone said, hey. Why didn't you tell them um, to change their name or, or do something? I'm like, you know what, dude? I can't tell anybody to do anything, and you, no one can. It's, it's the dumbest thing. And and I said, this is one of the things I brought up. I said, they're consistent. Look at yeah. them. Where, where, I haven't done shit. They're doing – they're putting in work, and it has nothing to do with what – you know, it just happens to be the same name. It's stupid. If anything, let's make make fun of it. It's funny. Like, mm-hmm. have a good time about it. Like, right now, doing a podcast together, promoting each other, you know? Yeah. You, people can make decisions to take it one way or take it the other way. You know, like, lyrical, you you rap, right? Yes. So, so like, I could imagine, you know, in the rap game, obviously, there's beefs and stuff like that. And, and sometimes, in the rap game, yeah, you could probably get more hits or... Or more, more, you can stir it up more by starting beef with somebody or, you know, but then it, it negativity always produces more negativity. Yeah. Then so, you become kind of like a gimmick. Yeah. I mean, look at fucking, look at 50. 50 mm-hmm. can't do a hit because he came into the game That's a good example. with, uh, he came into the game fucking with beef, debating yeah. people, fighting people. And if there's nobody around to do it, then you're a gimmick. There's nothing good. There's nothing I mean, that's, about you. you that know, is like. that is literally what Six Nine's whole thing was. Yeah. And look at him yeah. now. Like, mm-hmm. about just fucking that's... getting beat up at fucking saunas now, like constantly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like that's the actual pathway to go is what people think now. They're all like, oh, we got to start beef. We got to start shit. We got to, you know, make sure my name's put out there, whether it's in a bad way. And I'm just like, that's wild. Like, it's, yeah. and it's like, you never get away from that. They're just consistently yeah, right. like bringing more, yeah. bringing more beef, bringing more negativity. And I'm just like, bro, you got to get yeah. tired after a while from that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You, you, I mean, fuck that beef documentary uh, just dropped on Netflix. I want to watch it. I oh. rewatch it. Wait, you documentary or the, or the show? The show. It was the like, um, is it a show or is or the, are they re? Is it the old? Oh, shows? you're talking about the uh, old school. I used to the rent school. those DVDs. The, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, beef. Oh. There was like four of them. But what just oh, dropped I, oh. on Netflix is a show. Ali Wong. You're talk- yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, yeah. and you, and you that, said just on Netflix. I was like, oh, it's that. Yeah, show. you might be disappointed if you're looking yeah. for Fifty Cent on that one. <laughs> bro, bro. No, you're right. That show, beef. I just watched two episodes with my girl. That's a good fucking show. I'm it's with, six uh, episodes in. You That's saw it good. already? Yeah. Damn, yeah. I, I have Hell not yeah. seen it's it. Good, I was watching man. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas like four times in a row, so I have not got the chance to watch it. <laughs> yeah, me and my wife put it on to kill a little bit of time, so we were like, ah, just put it on. And then we ended it's up good, watching huh? six Damn. episodes back to back. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Damn. it's it's good, bro. But um, my bad, the, I, and I did confuse it, but no, the, the old show beef <laughs> about rappers having beef with each other mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, you get the yeah. DVDs back in the day. Yeah, uh, I, used to yeah. Those. I think I rented them on Netflix. I would they would send it to me on DVD. <laughs> I, I would go to like the corner stores at the the gas station, and they used to have like, and it would be no, the ghetto was ones. A different beef. Yeah, they would have like uh, like backyard balls, <laughs> beef one, beef two, and all this like dev rackets. I'm like, Rob, I'm here to get a Gatorade, my boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What part of Texas are you guys from? It's uh, uh north north Texas, like the. Dallas Fort Worth area, okay, nice. nice. Fort Worth specifically, mm-hmm. but everybody tends to know Dallas more than they know Fort Worth. Yeah. Even well, Fort let me. Um, um, Colin, you got a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when you guys came up with the name, was it? Did you guys Google it? Did you guys look it up and kind of go like, all right? Like you kind of said, like that's oh, kind of inactive. He's not really making mm-hmm. it. Like, nah, fuck it. We're gonna or just for like. Fuck it. We use this term all the time. We're just going to name it. 
Um, I'll be honest. It was so like, so we were, cons- it was, so when I first started the podcast, it was me lyrical and uh, we had another co-host uh, with us and it was just so random. Like we didn't even know what to name it in the beginning. And I would always tell my other co-host cause he was always going out. So I'll, I'll, he, w- he was used to me texting him. Like I would see him going out and I would text him. Thanks for the invite. TFTI. And so yeah, I, he I, was always at the bar, oh. always at the club all the time. So I was just TFTI. Thanks for the invite. And then even then he'd be like, well, I'm going to invite you and you don't come. And I'm like, yeah, but I still want to invite my boy. Like, don't, Bro. Worry, I mean, it don't matter if I'm going to come or not. I want to feel welcome yeah. with you guys. That's it. So we didn't, I didn't do no research. I had no idea of like, oh, let me look up any other podcast. Just because I didn't really think how far TFTI yeah. would go. Like any of this. I was like, eh, maybe it'll go far. Maybe not. And then yeah, we even kind of thought like, maybe we'll change the name. Like midway like maybe we'll just name it this for right now and then we'll change it if we get something else so it never kind of came to like look it up until someone told us there was another part well lyrical had looked up the yeah the, we're thinking about changing it to uh you wish that's, or, another, <laughs> that's another name we're, we're throwing around right now yeah we're thinking about it but yeah. you know we're hoping we don't lyrical, see someone else's idea lyrical Look, are you going to start doing stand-up too now? What's going on? No, dude. I don't Please, have a this man is hilarious. I You've respect the shit out of what y'all do. Time. I respect the hell out of what y'all yeah, do. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, I want to I want to ask you guys comedy questions for sure because I'm very interested on that shit. That's uh, all well, I listen bef- to before, is like Before a, that. Yeah. And, um, What are your top five comics? Ooh, I know uh, no particular order, but I got to say Louis C.K., uh, Jessel Nick. Um, oh, yeah. I've always been a big fan of Mark Norman, just as like his personality and hey. his stand up. I like him. Uh, Joe List also. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you Daniel listen to Tosh. Tuesdays with stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah he yeah. does. A uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. So this is a Tuesday podcast, then. It's all awesome. oh, Tuesdays. Yeah, I have a couple a of huge... shirts and everything. Oh, I got shit. the shirt. My my boy Sammy, he couldn't make it on the podcast today. He's he's part of the podcast too, and uh, he got me the rainbow one. I and I wore it one time, and people looked at oh, me nice. a little different. Hey, respect yeah, LGBT, it, bro. All good. Yeah, yeah. Damn, it's a Tuesday. Man. That's pretty. Uh, awesome. So you got. I want that shirt. All right. So Louis C.K., Mark Norman. Yeah. One more. Uh, and, and what Jessel did I say? Man. Louis C.K., Jesselnick, Mark, uh, Mark Norman, Mark Joe Norman. List. Joe List. Oh, uh, shit. What's that? Uh, Jeffries? Oh, uh, Jim, Jim Jeffries. Jeff- yes, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's I like like the dark, like kind of just humor. like way out mm-hmm. there humor that's just so ridiculous you can't help but yeah. laugh. <laughs> Dude, Jessenick's fucking one. Of, he's Jessenick. amazing. I was just listening yeah, to him the other day. crazy with those yeah. like misdirection and you don't yeah. know what the hell he's about to say and then it ends up being something completely different. Master, yeah, he's a master yeah. at it. They gotta, oh, yeah, check, dude, out, right they gotta check out a uh, dog belly, fucking big J. They would fucking love oh. it. Oh, that one just came out, right? Love yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. I yeah. haven't got to check it out yet. Nah, same here. It's good, brother. How about you, Jesus? Uh, um, oh, wait, wait, Cosby, you are, you, yeah, you got the that, name right. Jesus. Jesus. I, I got the name right. Okay, I really, yeah, I'm sorry it. for no, you got it right, Daniel. You're Daniel's lyrical, yes, yeah, so Daniel's my first name, by the way. Damn, oh, it really is Daniel yours. Freddy? I stole that. I'm telling you, yeah. Um, I, yeah and you that also one stole we looked my, up and he stole for it. sure. That you one stole, we, we did research you stole. on the name. <laughs> <laughs> my real name's Gustavo, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you stole Joe List too, bro. I fucking love Joe List. Love that yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's funny. But Jesus, what are your five, bro? Um... I like Tom Segura, um, Jesselnick, uh, yeah. Theo Vaughn, uh, Jeff Ross, and um, man, what's his name? He does uh, the bumping mics with Jeff Ross. Um, David oh, Tell. Oh, yeah. David Tell. David Tell. I love yeah, David, yeah, David Tell, bro. Tell. Oh, yeah. my God. And yeah. I like Christy D, too. I actually like Christy D a lot. Christy, um, Christy D and is I would cool, say, man. I would say Bobby Lee, but I've never seen him live. And when he was going to come here live, COVID started. So uh. I've, I've yet to see Damn. him. But I like well, him as an actual comedian, just overall. The fact that you guys didn't even mention one female comic, 
I mean, canceled. This I love you guys. Over. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said name funny people. What I are you mean, talking that's about? I'm <laughs> <laughs> naming comedians. <laughs> You want to name strong <laughs> female leads? Then we'll pull up Caitlyn. Uh, 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 we'll figure that out. Ricky Gervais is another one that I Oh, like. yeah. He's funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What that's about you guys? Oh, so, you guys are in the comic world. So, like, what are you guys... Or, Colin, are you in the comic world as well? I know Freddie for sure. He's in the world, but uh, the world. he's not a comic, though. <laughs> okay, I, but he's I'm in like the... comic that... adjacent. Got you, got you. Well, what do, who are you guys' top? Uh, so, we. it's funny. We just went over this, the last one. Attell for me is the best comic on the planet Earth right now. That was hilarious. Like Dave Attell is, I mean, his joke on Skanks for the Memory about I don't like to travel because my dad used to beat me with a globe is just, <laughs> it's just the funniest <laughs> fucking joke. <laughs> um, then, then for me, it's uh, Big J Okerson, uh, Freddie Carancha. What up, buddy? Hey. Yo. Um, <laughs> No, and then it's uh, then I think I'm kidding. Tell, yeah, no, no, that's not real. Uh, Scratch. Then it's uh, Chappelle, yeah. and uh, fuck. You know who I've been getting into a lot? Giannis Papas. Mm-hmm. I like. Yeah. Oh, I didn't name Andrew Schultz. Why the fuck did I not name Andrew Schultz? He's one of my favorites. I'm so that's sorry. That's a good. That's wow. a good. Wow. You guys, well, you, guys you guys said like all good lead. ones. Mm-hmm. You guys are big New York guys. I, I I just like how raw they are. Like they're just so like raw and like they don't give a fuck with. It. And it's hilarious. Like the fact that you can do it raw and be funny and not just be just cussing and stuff. It's fucking great yeah. to me. Yeah. I like yeah. to shout out Patrice O'Neill on my part. Oh, oh shit! Man. And yeah. we oh yeah. didn't name anybody black too. I'm so yeah. sorry because there's a lot of funny. I know we just sound yeah. racist and sexist. And shit. I know. Damn. We're, we're, <laughs> this is a setup. They're trying to cancel White this TMTI me. over here. <laughs> <laughs> they name all female comics and shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw in transgender comics, uh gay co- a, a horse. I think I know a horse comic. Um Yeah, uh I like Lucy K, Chris Rock, Felipe Sparza, Jerry Seinfeld. Um they move around a lot. Uh okay. there's a lot of them that like right now in my top five this week, like I've been listening to nothing but Steve Harvey, bro. Fucking oh, watching uh, the Kings of Comedy. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. What up? Oh, wrong black guy, bro. Jesus yeah, Christ. <laughs> oh, Bernie Mac. Fucking oh, as a- Bernie Mac. Yeah. Whatever. You don't it's, have it. It took the spotlight off us. Now it's on them. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna get canceled, dog. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, totally racist. <laughs> uh, the token. I'm, I'm the token <laughs> white guy. It's okay. <laughs> we're gonna cut this out. <laughs> uh, the- <laughs> <laughs> Definitely gonna have to edit this shit now. Yeah, no, but Steve We're Harvey, fine. bro, he's, he's been. <laughs> I don't know how Steve Harvey got on my fucking uh, in my in my mind. Some I don't know. I I might have heard his name somewhere, and then I looked him up, and I started like all these memories of watching the original Kings of Comedy and how funny he is. This motherfucker is funny, bro. It's it's insane. He, he's funny in general, like just as a he's a character himself. He can just yeah. Out of nowhere, he's really fast and and witty with it. Yeah, but I've never seen yeah. actually Steve Harvey's like stand ups. Beside, actually, I don't think I've actually seen Steve Harvey do stand up. To be honest, Not even oh the bro, Kings look up Comedy. some clips. It's been a long yeah. time. The Kings of Comedy's been a long time, and when I watched it, I feel like I watched it for Cedric the Entertainer and Bernie Mac. Yeah, Those but he was more of a for. host on that, right? On that yeah. special, yeah. So he, he was a host. Too much. Um, he was a host, but well, here's the thing. He didn't do too much at, in one chunk. He did it throughout the show. Yeah. Because I, yeah. I, in between every act, he did like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so he did probably, if not a little bit more or something, but but it's throughout the show. Um, I'll send you guys a, a, a link to this little clip. He's he's at a I, – I later found out he was at a church, dude. And uh, he's killing, doesn't even cuss. And he's killing talking about church stuff. And it made me laugh, even, even though I don't go to church. I was like, this motherfucker's funny, dude. Like, yeah. he can make some shit about church just just funny. His facial expressions, all this stuff. But, yeah. Anyway, he's on my top five right now. I didn't even say so. Dan Soder. I love Dan Soder. Dan Soder. Fucking. Oh. Yeah. Sam Morrill. Sam Morrill. Yeah, yeah, check out. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I like their podcast, too. His and Mark Norman's We Might Be Drunk. Yeah, that's a good one, bro. Yeah, I got there. Sam Chipley. Yeah, love those guys. Right on, man. For you guys. How was Skankfest? Oh, 
It's the best comedy festival on the planet Earth. Yeah. So that's how that's how I met Freddie. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, how how long ago was it when you met when you met him there? So not two not, two years be, ago. Yeah, two years almost ago. Almost three. Okay. Almost three in in Houston. So I did yep. in Houston. Mm, Houston. Oh, so you and, guys uh, recently met? I feel like I thought you guys were I went way back. Nah, nah, nah. Mm, I don't okay. hang out with Mexicans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would say same. But this Bro, is, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> He's in Philly, dude. White guy right now. <laughs> only doing that shit from a different state. Like, if we turn the yeah. camera, you'd think it's lyrical and me at the. It's at the. There's <laughs> two Mexicans. <laughs> no, we just met and we just um, I helped him out with something in Houston mm-hmm. and then uh. Tell him what you helped me out with. Oh, all right, so uh, oh, you can. You can go, so you can go there and uh, volunteer, and you get free tickets. And sometimes volunteering is just standing at a door, being security, which like it's a comedy fan. It's not like a concert, so everybody's just mm-hmm. sitting there hanging out. And uh, so I was like, "Yeah, I'll do that. Whatever. It's a free ticket." And you literally just get to stand around and watch stand-up comedy, and you get free booze, uh, free entrance to the uh, show. So kill just Tony. A, a bright white ye- uh, yellow sh- or bright uh, yellow shirt that says Skankfest on it. So yeah. those are all the volunteers. Mm. And it's and so you do that and um, any of the super exclusive shows you don't have to because the lines are long, so you don't have to wait in any of the lines. And uh, kill Tony was going on and Freddie Freddie was in there and he comes out he's, he has to leave he's like dude I got to fucking piss so bad I'm about to pee myself and. Uh, they weren't like, letting people back in. Yeah, because there was a so, occupancy oh, thing. Okay. Yeah, fire marshal was fucking. Uh, they were <laughs> literally like, standing there, dude. They're like getting ready no to more. shut it down, cause yeah. And uh, so anyway, he go ahead, go ahead. And uh, so then I uh, I go yo, tell them uh, I said it's cool for you to come back in and just say Colin said it's cool and you'll be good to come back in. Yeah, Mind like, you, the, the time. Colin? Dude, so that's so in my mind, I'm saying that I'm also I'm on I'm on mushrooms, so like I have this level of confidence that people know who the fuck I am. I'm like, yeah, he's with me. I he's hope with that me. works, man. And uh so then like I kinda I don't see him for the rest of the festival. The next year I'm helping out in the different like helping out with podcasts and stuff because I'm interested in it. And he's in um, a podcast studio at Skanefest. They had one this year. Or this yeah. last year, where you could go in and record, and he was in that department this and time. And I was in, and he was like, "Yo, what's up?" And I was like, "Ah, I don't remember." And like, <laughs> and then we, like, we started talking, and um, yeah, no, Freddie's one of the fucking. I, I remember nice him. Year. I said, "I said, hey, dude, I remember you. You helped me. You saved me from pissing myself last year at Skankfest in Houston." He's like, "Oh, no shit!" And like, he, do you even remember? You probably don't even remember. You probably were dealing with so many people. There was a lot of people. There's a yeah. great. There's a great episode with Jeremiah Watkins. Like we literally, yeah. like he's running late, so Freddie just has me jump on, and we end up talking shit for like 20 minutes. And then Jeremiah Watkins, who's a fucking killer murder, yeah, he comic. is. Yeah, yeah he so is. at Skank Fest, um, I went to that the studio, the Gas Digital Studio, and then, um, like you said, he was running late, and Colin jumps on the podcast, and he was a natural. I'm like, God damn, this guy is good. So we we friended each other. Sometimes we still hung out throughout the we festival. Go. We had some really so fun I, I, drunk, I, I, drunk I, nights. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah we just we ended up we ended up talking, and yeah every night we ended up hanging out. And with Vegas, you can do stuff until five in the morning. So we would literally just every night finish up Skankfest at midnight, and then go do like go to a bar, sit and talk shit, talk shop, and uh, yeah yeah I got back. And we were just like, he was like, yo, if you're ever free, hop on a podcast. Sends me microphone, camera, the whole, like, he's like, yo, we're getting you on. And then since then, like, I just booked my hotel uh, hey. for uh, Vegas. Coming in September, back. September, Skankfest. No. Yeah, guys, nice, if you can, nice. you, they have day passes still, bro. I would say if you can make it, go for a day. Yes. Yeah, over so here much. shouting that we should go, so we're definitely going to go. You should, bro. Uh, yeah. We could do a, uh, another podcast live, bro. Yeah, yeah. And we were just talking about we, 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 uh, a few weeks ago. We're like, we need to go to Vegas. We need to go to Vegas. And then yeah. when we found out you were from Vegas, we're like, yo, this is perfect. Yeah. Well, the, even I mean, a better yeah. reason to go to Vegas. Yeah, man. You want to go see some comedy shows? I'll take care of you guys. Don't have to pay for none of that. Oh, so, shit. Yeah, you want to see some movies? Here. I got you. All right. I like I like movies. I so, what are the movie? Are like, are you 
in like what movies are you more into than other? Are you just kind of in for like the best films? Like uh, whatever's no, I'm, the best. No, I'm actually uh, I'm into like dark thriller, psychological. I like slow burn movies. Like I'm into a Batman as well though. But no, I'm like uh, Drive. You've seen Drive with yeah. Ryan Gosling? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of if I go into like a movie like that, that's the type I like. And then like I also like horror movies like Suspiria. Hereditary, it follows. Mm. Like I like where the story gets you, even though it's scary. So I'm, I'm all about the storytelling. If the story's yeah. good, if the characters are good, the score is good. That's what I like. I love the pacing of movies. So I don't really like any of these new movies. That's why I'm watching. I just keep I watched any given Sunday the other day. Love that movie. Watch Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas the other day, and I watched it repeatedly because I'm like, yo, like I'm one of those who go, they don't make them like this no more. Like, and I never thought I'd be that guy, but I'm sitting there watching these movies like, Mm-mm, they don't make it like so, this. So yeah, I don't watch. I mean, I like watching the big movies still, just to watch them, you know. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't go in critiquing. I go in to turn my brain off, have fun. Uh, but yeah, I like the psychological thrillers a lot. Interesting. You said you said uh, so. I just during COVID, I watched the American Film Institute's hundred greatest movies, mm-hmm. and I did find myself like some. Of, I think Charlie Chaplin is the worst piece of shit. I don't find it funny at all. <laughs> it's just oh, it stinks. But like some of the like seventies movies were great. I mean, French French Connection was awesome. Um, Lawrence of Arabia was mm. fucking mind blowing. I just yeah. finished Vertigo. Vertigo was unbelievable. I've never your seen Vertigo. Vertigo. Uh-huh. Your Vertigo. <laughs> got him. Got him. <laughs> hey, like, you guys oh, got yeah. Le- yeah? You guys got Letterbox that app? Yeah. My nice. movies okay. on Letterbox too. Dude, oh, six. I. I just I went to your no shit. Yeah, that's your movie right there, bro. Yeah, this is actually this is the one I directed. It's it's on Amazon. It's on uh one one hub. It's on Tubi. Uh, what yeah, badass, bro? Uh, six vi. Just it's uh like Roman numeral Roman six. Roman numeral six. Mm-hmm. Is it on YouTube also? Yeah, it's free on YouTube. So just type in vi Jesus Basos and it'll pop up right there. I just found it. Yeah, I found it from your links. This is dope, bro. Congratulations oh, I, on that. That's you. fucking awesome. And YouTube is the best place to watch it. Even though the other places oh, yeah? like pay me, YouTube is better because I'm going to say this and nobody knows this. I'm going I'm going this is the first exclusive my dumbass muted an audio track on 6. So there's an audio track I muted when I was re-editing it to to submit to Amazon and all that. So there's an audio track that's just muted. So, there, I mean, no one can tell what it is, but I'm watching it going like, Jesus Christ, like, holy snap. Oh, and so I had a re, uh, and they're, they're going to they're gonna fix it, or whatever. But YouTube has the full version of the, all the audio. The so, like, everything. Yeah. So, if I don't, I don't give a shit, I just want people to watch it. I don't, I don't care. What was that audio? Watch it. What uh, was that audio it, track? What was it? It's, uh, it was some important stuff, I will say. So it's the the TV. So when there's two parts where he's watching TV, uh, and the audio's missing on there, and then there's a part where his phone vibrates is missing, and then there's a ad lib where we did um, we went to record in studio, and that part's missing. But luckily on that part, the music and the scene plays it so well that yeah. I even didn't really. I was like, okay, this works for sure. But the other yeah. parts, they were a little crucial for sure. That's why I say to watch it on YouTube and. If y'all watch on Prime, whatever, but YouTube is the best place to watch it. Nah, I'll watch it on YouTube. Fuck yeah. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to watch it, bro. That's Hell badass. Yeah. It is a slow burn, I'll tell you, but it... Um, it I like slow burns. Point, and it's about a guy dealing with uh, his depression, anxiety, addiction, and then fighting his inner demons, and it becomes like a physical manifestation of his of his inner demons, mm-hmm. and he's like... You know, it, it's it's a whole... like, like I said, Did you write it? Brain. Yes. I wrote it, directed Damn, it, that's and cool. produced it, yeah. Is this is this the first time like uh, you like uh, from the research I've done very little research uh, people that make short films usually make a lot of little little short films like five ten minute video ones. Do you have others like that as well? Yes, um, I probably have like 15 short films, but only about six of them that I actually were like, yeah, these are the ones that are pretty decent five or six of them. And then the rest are hidden in my vault that no one will ever watch because those were like, I thought I was badass. And then everyone started, Oh, those are some funny movies. I'm like, those were action. Yeah. You got to put those talking about. (laughs) So I had to take them off. I say, I say Lee. Nah, I say (laughs) lean in, bro. Lee some, 
Fuck that, I dude. Lean but, in. But I do have a few short films on YouTube, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny movie dude no dude it was action yeah I remember my friend was like yeah bro shit was hilarious and I was like my movie he's like yeah I was like that was an action film he was like, oh, oh. Like, yeah yeah like I was like oh, it's all good but in my head I'm like damn I need to take that shit down bro <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I, hey, the scary part about that action movie is I did four parts of those movies <laughs> oh wow it was it was, a, it was a, out, it was a trilogy and a spin-off like that's Banger rush hour one rush hour two rush Banger. hour three rush hour four yeah it was <laughs> it was wild. patreon bro patreon know, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, you oh, yeah. Should do that. that's badass that's badass that's on Patreon. Yeah. Pull them up. I know, right? Hundred dollar, hundred dollar tier, man. You get For the hundred dollar tier, and y'all get to see this shit show. You only see it once. You can't even replay yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, <that's> it. <laughs> no, if someone screens records it, I'm fucked. Oh. Um, where can we watch your other uh, films? It's on YouTube. Same, um, same yeah, channel. So, yeah, you just hit the channel, and um, it'll scroll down. You'll see Mendo Cry. You'll see Alejandro. You'll see Tack and. Uh, Vixation. What's uh, the name of that it? YouTube? Uh, Spectre Studios. So uh, S P E K T R E Studios. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, the one nice. with all the thumbs down. Yeah, yeah, the, the one. With, yeah, that one right there. Uh, oh, there we go. Boom. Ooh, Freddy, what yeah. was that one? What was that one they were talking about in the bonfire? The uh, the horror one that this guy in Philly made a horror movie that was supposed to be scary, but it just all that ridiculous philly accent oh fuck. i remember them talking about it damn what was it yeah oh fuck you was guys like keep a talking about it i know it's like a fucking z letter horror movie, <laughs> z -letter <laughs> horror movie. <laughs> i'll, I'll find you. you guys talk okay. just give me a sec so okay. so i see you posted this you uploaded it a year ago that's when it was released mm. um it says jerry okay cool yeah yeah you know what dude um I know we're. Th I know this is like our first date, but can we come back and and talk movies one day with you guys? Let's do it up. Because we like w that's one of our favorite things to do is uh, we just reviewed um, uh, the Kino comedy recently. Mm -hmm. What's the other movie we did, Colin? Uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino, Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. Mm -hmm. So nice. we choose a movie, and then we could, if you guys have time, we could all schedule it with it. our uh, yeah. our other friend Sammy, and we could review a movie or something. That'd be yeah, that'd be yeah. fun. You're yeah. talking my language. Let's do it. Dude, I'm telling Anytime. you, bro, we're 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 like pretty much a lot alike. I my first name's Daniel. Um if I put on glasses, I think me and Jesus kinda <laughs> could, could we could kinda confuse a white cop. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> For Confusing sure. me already. <laughs> looking at the wrong He's like, screen. what's up, Freddie? I mean Daniel. I mean Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I look like Colin, but I wouldn't pass by Colin, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but you said Philly is one of the places you want to go visit. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, one of my friends went there a while ago, and I remember when he went, uh, they went for, like, this music thing. And I was like, ah, it, 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 I feel like it's boring or whatever. And then he came back. He's like, yo, nah. He goes, that was fun, bro. He goes, there's a lot to do, a lot of places. Like, he was showing me all the – everything they did, and I was like, damn. I want to go. And this was like nice. six years ago, so I still haven't gone, but like that's on my bucket list to go. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm going to go out there and hang out with Colin pretty soon uh, in a few months. I'm going to go out there and uh, go say what's up to the Rocky statue for sure. That's one hey, of the things oh, yeah. I got to do. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That um, might now, have been one of the reasons why I wanted to go. That Yeah, that? that might be. That might be. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, <clears throat> like uh, – DC movies. What's your favorite DC movie? Oh, man. Um, He's ah, pretty man. biased. Watchmen or Man of Steel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, and Dark Knight. I'd have to put those three in there. Um, those are the most grounded films and the most, like, I meant, I guess, like, just good filmmaking. Because, like, I agree mm -hmm. with Colin where, like, I love the darkness of DC. But, I, I mean, sometimes they don't hit. Like, it's yeah. true. Like, it really doesn't. Like, I love Suicide Squad, the one with uh, David Ayer. The world was so great. But the story just was like, ugh. But, like, yeah. everything about it, like, I'm like, yo, this is where Batman would come. This is where all these characters would be. Like, this is just like the cartoon, the comics. Like, I love it. But 
the villain and stuff. So I, you know, I, I agree where like they they kind of slide, but like what I like about them is that they take those risks where like Marvel kind of does the like safe zone where like every time you watch it, you go like oh, okay it was it was good it was what I expected like it wasn't bad you know yeah. and then sometimes you get like a like a real knockout with like you know everything before in game was pretty fucking badass everything after in game has been this this just yeah. shitty when i was a kid um i used to like marvel more mm -hmm. i used to collect the x-men comic books and mm -hmm. a few dc comics but as an adult i i guess my love of the x-men mm -hmm. uh, it was hard for me to separate oh in movies they're gonna change the story mm -hmm. and i and that's what turned me off i i was like fuck x-men and those x-men movies sucked the only one i liked was um the the past one the where they time uh, travel or some shit uh, Quick Silver's in it. Uh, first Class or Apocalypse? It's First Class. No, Days of Future Days Past. Of Future Past. That one. That That's one. the only one I liked uh, when it came to X-Men. That one was good. Uh, yeah, I like that I, I, one. I like the X-Men movie, so I'm a huge fan of the X-Men movie. But, you, I, but you, very inaccurate. <laughs> I agree with you. Very yeah. inaccurate. Yeah, like Sabretooth and, and uh, Wolverine. Mm-hmm. They hated each other. There weren't, I think in the movies, they, they were brothers or related. One of the movies, or? yeah. Yeah, and I was like, "What the fuck?" So I didn't, I didn't really like it. Now, do I like Marvel? Now I do, but I do prefer DC. And uh, my favorite DC movie is The Joker. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked it, one. and we did talk about it. But it's literally a ripoff from uh, Taxi and and the Kino Comedy. You ever seen those movies? Uh, I have not, and I know I'm gonna get shit right now from Wolf and Damn, Juan dude. right now. Damn, Taxi's on my. Li I just watched so many with Taxi's on my list. Look, I'm sorry, Taxi Driver. Taxi uh, Driver's on. My oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it does list. definitely have that feel to it. But it's I haven't funny, seen bro. the what is it, King of Comedy? The the King just... of Comedy is uh, with De Niro as well. Mm -hmm. And if you watch that, and then you watch the Joker, you're like, oh, yeah, okay. like this yeah. is. <laughs> Like De Niro's literally in the Joker, and you're like, "Oh yeah." No, I mean, like when you watch it, just like, go, "Oh shit, okay." You'll see yeah, the similarities. and, and yeah. as much as much um, as much as I like uh, the Keenan comedy, I gotta say the Joker's better. Oh, they did it way watch. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you got it's... on Collins' bad side right now. No, no, I agree <laughs> with him. No, no, no. Oh, no, you no, agree? No, no. So you think the yeah, Joker, no. so you also think the Joker's better? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joker's okay. a really good movie. It's good. Yeah. yeah, I like yeah, yeah. the Joker. I, I, I enjoyed the Joker, and it was definitely one of the movies um, I wasn't excited to see, though. Dude, Freddy has the fucking funniest story about it, watching the Joker. Oh, oh yeah, so I was pointing at this earlier, so here, let me, I got one of those stickable thingies. So this is Norm MacDonald right there. Mm -hmm. That's my yeah. girl. We, we went to watch the Joker, and Norm MacDonald was sitting next to us, bro. Oh, shit. So I Damn. got to watch that movie with Norm Macdonald. Did you? Were crazy. you nervous the whole time? Like I did, I was nervous because I didn't know it was him. I I uh, here's what's trippy about it. Uh, you know how the Joker cackles at random stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beef. There was just four. There was three guys. There was three guys next to us, and they're all dressed in pajamas. I didn't really see their faces, so I didn't know it was Norm Macdonald. All I kept hearing was cackling from one of them. I'm like, why are they cackling like the Joker? They were like literally. Like sometimes in the in some setups, they started laughing without the Joker. So I'm like, I thought this motherfucker is gonna shoot up the place. Yeah, that's what I would <laughs> so thought. I'm like, yeah, right. So I thought about moving seats or or going to snitch and shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe grabbing a, a young kid, hey, that works there. Like, hey, those guys, I don't know what's going on over there. You know, you, you know, you know how they say. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> so um, th when the movie was over, the lights turned on. My girl's like, look who it is. And I'm like, oh, shit. And he was the sweetest guy. And it, now it makes sense why he was cackling. He's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's Norm MacDonald. You know? Yeah, you're like, I get yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Yo, go for it. <laughs> Cackle all you want. I've been watching yeah. a lot of his clips recently. Dude, like That's oh, one of those great. things where I just, like, if you get on my YouTube or my uh, TikTok. TikTok, then it's all, Super like, it deep. automatically just pops up Norm MacDonald clips. How does he see Nice. It's on your album. Yeah, yeah man. Clips with uh, him and Super Dave are one of the funniest ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't yeah, seen yeah, those. Yeah. I, yeah, I haven't seen those so pop funny. up on my Dude, they're fucking Fanta. Yeah. Oh, that's Dude, dope, bro. Well, the reason I brought up the Joker, though, what do you think of this new movie? Because it, 
the expectations are super high. What do you guys think yeah. of this uh, new one those, coming out? Uh, those the Lady Gaga one? The, one, the second yeah. one, right? Uh-huh. Um, I'm I'm always I'm always open to see the final resort result, but um, hearing that it's a musical, I'm not really oh, I'm not really, really? sure. How, what? Yeah, it's a Man, musical. I didn't know. What? Yeah, it's a musical. Part I yeah, Joker know, Two that. is a musical, so that oh. kind of turned me away because I was like, well, how do you go from something so good as the Joker? Because like I'm like you, you that was a really good dark movie, and then you go into a musical. So that kind of turns me away, but I'm still kind of like, well, maybe they're going to do it differently. But like, but like is I, it going to, I don't know. Is it going to be like it, Sweeney Todd? Like, you know what I mean? Where it's just, yeah. yeah. God they have been, so, Same director? Same director. The only, the only things I've heard of like why it could be a musical is because it's through Harley Quinn's, uh, uh, through her, th- we're 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 watching. We're gonna apparently that's the theory. Her version. And we're watching it. Yeah, we're watching it through Harley Quinn's eyes. So oh. it might be a musical in her head. I guess okay. that's the theory. So I I don't know. That would make more sense. I'm like, I, I'll okay, tell I you. I I had not heard of this until you said it, and I'll <laughs> tell you. That makes me want to watch it now because it's gonna Dang. be different. Then mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. it's kind of genius on their part, I think, because. They know the first one's so good to for them to do something kind of reinvent it. It's almost like a reboot with using the same people. It, I think it, uh, well, I'm interested now. Okay, because yeah. I one of the things I said on the review when we did the Kino comedy, I'm like, how are they going to come up with a great sequel when the first one they already ripped off the whole story from Kino comedy and uh, the Taxi Driver? What movie are they going to rip off now? You mm-hmm. know. Uh, it might Greece be Gone with the Wind. Because I agree, but like it, it was, that's why I said I'm waiting till we to watch it or watching a trailer to kind of get the feel of it. Okay, I, I, yeah. I don't know yet. I'm st- I'm like, all right, well, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I'm yeah. interested. Hell yeah! So, I'm what do you think about this new Flash movie? I heard this new Flash movie is getting a lot of hype right now. I mean, the dude's supposed to be crazy. Yeah, I, I Juan can never stop talking about it, sending us Ezra Miller updates. Wolf, am really? I right? <laughs> yes. Um, he's always like, "Look what Ezra did! Look, I told you." Um, he's sending us like yeah, he's crazy, videos. Bro. He is. Oh, he that. is. He's fucking wild. But I'm I'm actually excited for the Flash. I'm not gonna lie. It looks amazing. Like, they. oh, I'm sorry. They. You have to refer yeah, to the geez. to Ezra Miller <laughs> as they. Uh, right. But it looks it looks. Um, I, I, it looks amazing. I, and so everybody's the fact saying it's, it's going to be dope. Yeah, and in fact, it's tied to Man of Steel, which is one of my favorite movies. And I love the director. He did it, and I loved it. It was great. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. And the trailer, like, I didn't know how they was they were going to put Keaton in it. Um, but it looks. I mean, it looks fucking dope. Like, I'm I'm super excited for the film. Like, what do you guys think about it? I mean, so like uh, the tra- yeah the trailer definitely looks interesting. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm definitely interested, but uh, I mean, just because he's crazy too, or they are crazy. <laughs> they, um, <laughs> what was he? What was he accused of? He didn't he do some fucking? I thought he, he started was on a, time, bro. He started a cult and then like kid, kidnapped like some chick that's underage. Bro, he did some wild oh, shit. Yeah, Juan's a, on that fan base. He knows exactly. Juan, hop Juan, on what, the what, mic, bro. Juan, come on, Juan. What did what did Ezra he, do? You're, what did they you're do? making it seem like I'm his biggest fan. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's wearing an Ezra shirt right now. Yeah, he's yeah. Ezra Miller shirt. He's a free Ezra Miller. They did nothing uh, wrong, is what the shirt says. No, nah, he's how uh, you guys how don't know him. Like he I started know. a cult, yeah. and he basically took a underage girl under his wing, and basically, oh, kind of, what, what is it? Um, groom R. Kelly. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. and then yeah, yeah, and, and just kind of harassing oh, he started, people left and right. It was just one girl, or multiple girls. Uh, well, oh. in his cult, there's multiple women, but <laughs> so like that one deal? chick, <laughs> uh, his parent. So uh. it, it's and it's weird because it dives deeper, right? So this girl's parents were indigenous uh, um, protesters that he or they, that, you know, helped them out, right? So he was pro. <laughs> they were protesting with him, with woke, them. Baby. It's so confusing. The, yeah. I told you this man knows his fucking. It's, it, it's, hey, it's, it's Juan. A yeah. Spiral, yeah. It's Juan. Juan, are you the third guy that's always on the podcast? No, he's the producer. Our, our it's I only me and Lyrical now. On me our, our third left already, but yeah. What's up, that's everybody? Juan What's up, Juan? Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, guys. What's up, guys? Hell yeah! Yeah, fuck Wolf. 
D- but <laughs> but it's just us um, two now left on the pod. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. You guys all still cool with the other guy? Yeah, we're on good yeah. terms. Everything's fine. Oh, good. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was, we didn't leave on negative terms. We just left on the – he wanted to do other things, and the podcast just wasn't fitting in his schedule no more. So we left on good yeah, terms. Yeah, it makes sense. No, that's when you cool. Guys, oh. When you guys are recording, does he say thanks for the invite? Uh, Juan? Uh, yeah. He's usually the one that reminds us yeah. to say it. No, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, 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 no. The boy, you, uh, the guy you don't do the podcast anymore with. Does he hit uh, you eyes up still? I'm like, dude, thanks for the invite, bro. Thanks for the invite, asshole. Yeah, every time after the episode, he watched the every episode of TFTI, bro. <laughs> hey, come on next week and then I'm ghosted. That looks like so much fun. I wish I was there. Yeah, w- wish I was there, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have him on my podcast and ha- have him do a tell-all story. See what's yeah. going hey, on. They said y'all see what really happened. Juicy, tell us the, the truth. Well, tell us the truth, bro. Did they hurt you? Damn. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to talk with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, here's a geek technical kind of question. You guys have multi cameras, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Or you guys, you guys don't do like just one well, one camera. No, we right? have one do... camera on on set, and then we. And then I edit, uh, I zoom in on everybody's face, and then we, it just looks like... Oh, that's camera. how you do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's dope. So Everybody it's like a badass that. camera. It's, uh, we have the black magic. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Nice. Everybody so, comes so in, you, they when you think, zoom we in, it, cameras. Yeah, because then it doesn't even seem like it's losing a lot of pixelation or anything. Like, it looks, the quality looks great when you're zooming in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't crack. Yeah. Yeah, it's all yeah. So Just the lighting and stuff. So you go through the whole episode, and you switch... Whoever's talking about so it. Uh, I used to. That used to be super hard. And I mean, I still do that, but now I, I make, so I'll make like the main track, which is the main, like us right here. And then I'll do the zoom in on lyrical, the full track on top of it. So I just copy it, duplicate it, and then zoom in on lyrical. And then on mine, I'll copy, duplicate it, zoom in on my face. So they're all in sync. And then what I do Hell is yeah. as I'm watching and if I feel like, oh, lyrical's having a longer conversation or someone's doing something funny, I zoom in, I just cut that part out and then leave it there cut that part leave it there so i mm-hmm. make it easier for myself you see colin this is also a uh, editing master class you see that shit <laughs> yeah, that's good shit right shit, there dude. thank you for yeah, coming to you. i didn't <laughs> even know that's how you did that i always just figured you just like click on it and it zooms in no it's not that easy like on your phone <laughs> just whenever you get it. <laughs> damn did you just feel that shade you just threw it on the band <laughs> So you're fantastic. actually doing work on this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you don't just show up like I yeah. do? Damn, you don't just upload right. it after we're done? And it does yeah. it by right, itself so, on the camera? All right, so all right, I'll be honest. Our main goal was to break you guys up, so it's working, I guess. And, uh, Damn, I'm really... Guess, yeah. Quan's yeah. <laughs> running this. He can, he can now be a co-host over here hey, with one of us. Oh, They're waiting damn. for the invite. <laughs> oh. Six sucks, bro. No. Damn. Hey, uh... What any anything else you want to ask, Colin? Um, I so, got one, but I want to ask you first. See if you have any. No, so like, did you guys have you guys known each other your whole life? Is that just and you guys were just literally just like let's start a podcast, or was it really just met in the industry, kind of? Or mm-hmm. how how did you guys meet and kind of uh, all link up together? We met through music like years ago. How many years? Two thousand eight. Maybe 2009. No, oh, 2009. Wow. Maybe 2010. Probably something like that. Uh, we meet when me and my other, the other host Joe were um were rapping together. We had a little rap duo back in. The, this was right after high school. We were 19 years Damn, old. Damn, what's the name of that rap duo? Let's find some. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> nope. uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody say please. Uh, but uh, Damn. even though people still Patreon call me my rap exclusive. name that know me. That's how they know me. As, uh, I still have his rap name in my phone when that's how he I ha- text me. Yeah, that's how I have lyrical because I'm just lyrical. Uh, but we met through music and we were doing this song, me and Joe were... Um, uh, Expendables. Yeah, it was called Expendables. And we wanted to put like five of like the dopest artists that we knew that were like lyrical in the, in the local area. So I forgot how his... Oh, I met Hoodlum. Yeah. At, uh, UPS. I met his, his uh, rap partner. And we started talking about music and whatnot, and then he sent us their mixtape or whatever, sent it to Joe, and Joe heard it and was like, yo, we got to rap with these dudes. And then we never made the song, ever. Like, to this we day, We made that's... other music and worked on other projects, but that song never, and it's like a perfect, like, 
just the type of people we are. We overhype the shit out of something, overthink it so much to where nothing is ever good enough. Yeah, and we then did. we just don't do it. Yeah, we were like, this is going to be the hardest song. We that were was talking whenever about Expendables on 1 came out. Yes. And that was like, and we just, ne it never happened. and never played oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So you guys have been stealing names since then. Damn, that's what's yeah, up. It, yeah. This isn't something new. Yeah, yeah no, no. This no. isn't something yeah, new. Yeah, don't get it twisted. I was going to meet called Colin, but I was like, you know what? They might realize, so let's, let's not do this. <laughs> we're this close. Now let's change our names for this episode. <laughs> I was literally, I was literally just telling my girl, um, you know, because I'm sometimes I, I do some, um, you know, gay stuff and uh, yeah. and I have a OK, I have a vision. I have a vision board. OK, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, that gay stuff. Never mind. Not me. Hey, does that oh, work? Yeah. Does that work for you? I, I think so. I think goes, so. I it's just mental dudes right here. So, yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, part of my vision board, bro, is um, I want to do a short film. I want to do short films because I before I started comedy. I was doing skits on YouTube, doing like stupid, uh, funny videos, but same thing. I'm ashamed of them. So they're all private now. Uh, but I told my girl, that's going to be part of my, and that's so bad as that, what you're talking about that like you're, you know, and I think I even know the name of my first movie is going to be called six. Mm, interesting. <laughs> what is it about? A guy with an addiction? Yeah, it's about addiction, uh, demons, and demons. What did yeah, you say dude. it was again? <laughs> was, what else? <laughs> it's about a podcast. And it's going to start that man. <laughs> Remind me what yours is about, and I'll tell you. That <laughs> We're all just no, but each other's ideas. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, dude. But but for real, for real, like that's I've been watching some videos on making a short film and things like that. Um, so my question to you, bro, is. For somebody, well, me, but anybody that's listening also that, like, they want to make a short film, what do you recommend for them to have? What are the most important things? Ooh, um, I mean, just I'm talking camera. about, like, a five to ten minute. Sorry to interrupt, but a short, short film, not like, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, okay. just to get a, a good, decent camera uh, with, like, a 50 millimeter lens. You can get 50 millimeter, 35 millimeter lens that are cheap. And you can okay. get, like, a good setup for, like, with the mic. You just need a mic. Uh, uh, audio recorder, a camera, and two lenses, and you can get like a really good one for like all the all the equipment for like maybe under twelve hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, and you the can get and, and just start it off to do a short <laughs> film out. and practice, huh? <laughs> He's like, I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, never mind. Hey, forget <laughs> this five minute session. Let's just this uh, move it away. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not a lot that you can um, <clears throat> that you actually need. Like I just started with the camera, and I put a mic on top of the camera. That's how okay. I did my short films, and then. I edit the audio in Premiere at the time so that the audio didn't sound as bad. But, I mean, it's not, it doesn't take much. It's not until you start doing more movies that you're like, okay, I need this. I want this. I want that. But, like, mm -hmm. to start off, literally, just get a camera. You can get a zoom lens and get a camera, a mm -hmm. mic, and start, start shooting. Because you won't know what you need until you start shooting and know what you want. But once you realize, like, okay, I want to do this, when you're on set, you'll be like, oh, shit, well, I need this. Or how do I make this happen? So it just mm -hmm. kind of throughout starts to, you start to understand what you need. But to start off, just yeah, get a good mic, camera, lens, and you're good to go. Seriously, for a short just good to go. Movie. Mm -hmm. And and uh, now for your longer movie, uh, the one that we're gonna watch later on on uh, YouTube six. What kind of uh, how how did you do the audio? Did you have the actors come back and re like dub it or? Uh, I some of the scenes I did so. Um, we had we actually had an audio guy on set. We have a, he has his own recorder, mic, everything set up, so it's all recorded separately, and then the camera is done separately, so everything is all separate. And some of the audio that came out bad, we did have to go back in studio to re-record, but it was only, um, I think one scene, and and mm -hmm. uh, that was it. And then the rest was just like his like ad libs and stuff, like just kind of adding to the movie itself, but. Everything's done on set for the most part. Like you only Everything. need to do on studio if you fuck up or do anything, which most of the time oh, okay. does happen. Yeah, to go back in. So mm -hmm. were you guys using like oh like one of those uh like a boom mic over Yeah, we had the boom pole. It was long too. It was mm -hmm. like a fucking fifty foot boom pole, so he could be standing far away. But it gets heavy. You're just like this. Yeah. And like my, my movie has long shots, so they kept getting mad at me, my camera guy and uh my audio guy, because <laughs> they had to hold the mic. So there's like scenes yeah. that will last like 
two minutes, three minutes just on the shot. But, like, it's something's going on for sure. But, like, yeah. my audio guy's like this. And then my camera guy's, like, <laughs> holding it. And then, like, I'm like, cut. All right, let's do it again. And they're like, bro. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> this is, like, give me five minutes, bro. And then, like, all this shit is heavy. Yeah. So from a short yeah. film to a feature film, like, I mean, we went from from that small gear to, like, I mean, just for the camera was, like, $30,000 in gear. I was like, holy wow. shit. Like, everything that he had, my, my DP, uh, to make it happen. So everything that he's <laughs> adding and everything is just all heavy and shit. But, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a whole different ballpark whenever you do a feature film. Did now, you go to school for that? I went for, like, seven months. And then I got called in the office one day. And they were like, yo financial aid ain't covering you no more so i was like ah oh, well how much is it they're like it's 900 a month and i was i was driving from fort worth to dallas and it was a Damn. it wasn't like an actual like associate's degree school it wasn't like a you take all these classes it was like for film school so you did like mm -hmm. a 18 month program and i remember like <laughs> being like heartbroken because i did like everything to get in school and like my mom helped me my dad like every you know my wife was like yeah go for it like well you know we're gonna take the you know, risk, I'm going to work. You're going to go to school five days, six, five days a week, whatever. And, um, I had to work after that, whatever. But when they called me in the office and told me that I was like, damn, like, what am I going to do? Like, what the fuck? So I immediately went to my professor and was like, yo, um, I, I, I have to drop out. And he's like, what happened? And I told him, you know, they financial aid's not covering me. Like we went, we did everything. Like they're not, something happened. Cause I went from being single to married the next year. So my, something happened where it fucked it up. And, um, he was like, Hey, you don't need film school. And he goes, uh, you know more than everybody here because you were making movies before this. He goes, the only thing we're teaching you is how to make movies. He goes, and you've done that. He goes, so just mm. keep making movies. He goes, that's all you, he goes, if you can keep making movies, he goes, you're doing more than everybody else. He goes, you don't need to yeah. know all this degrees. He goes, okay. He goes, you finish 18 months. He goes, you get a degree, your, your slip. He goes, no one will ever ask you for it. They're going to say, where's right. your movie? Where's your projects? They will never ask you for your degree. And so, I was like, okay. And then I left school and I'm the only one from that class to make a movie <laughs> that didn't yeah. actually graduate and not shit mm -hmm. on any of them. I love all those yeah. guys, but yeah. they 90% of them all don't do filmmaking no more. And the other ones, right. they do like YouTube skits and stuff, which they're really fucking good, like really mm. good comedy stuff. But like, as far as movies, I was the only one who actually made the movie. Congratulations, bro. That's, that's amazing. That's, that shows the desire and the passion you had for it. Mm -hmm. You know, that you, you're you pursuing it and you're still actively doing this. And uh, so that's that's pretty cool, bro. That's um, that. I I remember I got uh, discouraged from a class uh, when uh, art class when I was like ninth grade. I want to say it was in high school. I was going to have mm -hmm. to go to a special school. My mom's going to pay for it. But this guy was really like discouraging so we had money issues and then the, the professor was discouraging you know mm -hmm. talking to a young kid like this ain't this art whatever you're doing it's not shit and i let that just fucking get to me and i never pursued it so kudos to you for mm -hmm. saying fuck that i'm still gonna continue to do that you it, know it, it, yeah no it's, and it was tough it, it, yeah yeah it was tough and i thought i was gonna get <laughs> shit from because that professor i went to was like hard he was hard on everybody like he was the one where, like, I went to school and I knew, like, oh, he's going to be an asshole. But I was like, I'm paying for this. So I'm going to mm. shut up and listen. Everything, if he tells me I'm doing it wrong and I want to do it differently when I go home, I'm going to do it the way he tells me. And I'll do it differently when I go home. But, like, I'm here to learn. I'm paying. So when I mm -hmm. told him about it, like, I was surprised that he was like, nah, bro, you're, don't worry about That's it. That's cool, man. And I was like, yeah. oh, shit. Like, okay, cool. But I will say, after I left, uh, all, all most of the professors were like, hey, if you need any, um, references or whatever like email me i got you none of them hooked me up all of them ignored damn. the fuck out of me one of the professors was like well you were only here seven months i don't know you that well i was like damn ah. so yeah it, that that was discouraging at, at first like yeah. that discouraged me a lot because i was trying to get into the Warner brothers workshop and they wouldn't let me in unless i had three references and even the professor that told me i was going to do good when I sent him, uh, well, before I sent him my film, he, like he never, he never hit me back up. And when I sent him my film, he still never hit me back up. And I was like, well, okay. You know, yeah. let's still keep going. So, so what's the difference between, you mentioned short and feature. What is it a length issue? What's the difference between a yeah, short and just a feature? Length issue. So 70 length? minutes and above is a feature film. I don't know if it's oh. still the standard now. When I made six, that was still the standard 70 and above. 
it might be 80 now uh to be considered okay. a feature but uh mine was considered a feature on everything so it's on there as a feature and then short is under 30 minutes and then there's another one that's in between wolf am i right 30 or 45 minutes yeah under 30 minutes they consider that a short film okay mm -hmm. and after that it's and, like and man have you uh i'm assuming you have gone to film festivals mm -hmm. uh how, which ones have you gone to like have gone to or gotten into uh gotten into that's a better okay. question uh i got into the lone star film festival here in fort worth i got into so wicked uh i got into nothing really big it was all like little horror stuff for my movie so my film was able to get into horror stuff and then the lone star film festival was it's a big one in, in Texas, so I was like excited. So that one premiered at one of the actual theaters last year, uh, and so that was awesome. Like that was a really cool experience to like have my movie at the theater and people actually come watch it. And people thought I was famous because I was taking pictures outside with my family. So there was like mm -hmm. people stop and go like, "Can I take a picture with you?" And I was like, "You're gonna be disappointed when you realize I ain't that famous <laughs> before." But I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure." Uh, but yeah, oh, oh, and they I thought you were Freddie Korea, dude. Probably like Freddie. No. And I was like, yeah, from TFTI. Like, yeah, and this is Carmen. Like, yeah, come on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the whole crew no. here. Yeah, skank fest. No, yeah. get you in. <laughs> no one knows who the fuck I am. <laughs> no one knows who the fuck I am. There's you, another Freddie in Korea. Uh, a little. That's for sure. Yeah, he opens up but a, a lot, brother. Don't let him play it down. Yeah, come on, Freddie. <laughs> I looked you. I looked you up. I was at this boy. I was like, how are we on this? How are we invited to this podcast? This is <laughs> no, it's my honor to have you guys. No, no, thank you guys for letting me be part of this. this is awesome, bro. No, you know what? And here. I'm happy we would have never met if we wouldn't have thought of like, how about that? And you guys are badass, bro. You guys are cool. Oh, I appreciate that, cool. that, man. You guys too, man. Um, so let's see. Oh, not, um, some submitting. It. Okay, okay. Le yeah, let me let me ask this one, and then you guys go ahead. Submitting, submitting to a, a film festival. What is the process? What do you gotta have? Do you have a, to have a giant portfolio, portfolio, or is it just um, one mm -hmm. project you present? Yeah, it's uh, money because they all <laughs> cost to get in, and and, and okay. the earlier you can get it in, the cheaper you'll get it. So some of them might cost ten bucks. <laughs> And then you're like, hell yeah. But then if you submit it a month before, it's 90 bucks now. And you're like, oh, shit. Mm, and, uh, and even then, it's not even guaranteed that it'll be in. So you're just submitting. Like, all that are money, they watching your whole movie? Somebody watching your whole movie? Or? So from what I'm told is like most of them watch the first five to ten minutes. And if they don't like it, then they go on to the next one. And then okay. the, and what I'm also told is like, if you're not one of the first to submit, then more than likely they don't even watch your movie because by the first mm. one or two, they go like, they have like five rounds of payments or whatever. Like the first two rounds, they almost have all their movies already picked out. Wow. So you might get lucky if your movie's that good by, you know, when you submit it late that they're like, Oh, we need to put this in. Uh, and then just knowing somebody on, um, in knowing somebody. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> go ahead. Well, uh, like Quentin Tarantino, when we did Reservoir Dogs, we found out that the the film festival he went to, that's really what helped him a lot too mm -hmm. blow up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was wondering about that because I'm like, okay, well, how do you submit? But, I mean, if he has Harvey Cattell in the movie, of course he has gonna, he's going to have yeah. connections to be able to present. Mm -hmm. So that helps, having somebody of that name, right? You you can have someone of that name and then having a story behind your, your film, like, so, for example, one of them, the story I keep telling people, like for people to watch six, because like, uh, you know, you always have to be like, well, this is how it was made or whatever. Like mine is like six was made under three thousand dollars. So I made a feature film with three thousand dollars. So regardless of whether nice. anybody likes it or not, like I'm like, I made it for three grand and we shot it in three days and we shot it just renting the equipment for one day. But we finessed it where we were like, if we can get it, if we can order it and get it here Thursday. They won't count Thursday. They'll count Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday is closed, so they don't count those. And then we can just return it Sunday night, and then Monday they'll have it. So that's how we finessed it. And we were able to get these Fuck lenses yeah. that uh, we didn't have, uh, the lights and stuff like that, to just rent it. And then rent it for one day, and then actually have it for three day four days, and then uh, do it that way. So having a story uh, is also a good way to go. But uh, yeah. You got to know people still to tell people the story. You got people to have to be talking and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, but 
That's uh, why networking yeah, I mean, is huge, you right? Have the money to networking and meeting other film, people that have some, like oh, the only thing is about like, it too. Like, wait, sorry, Colin, let's say you made your a film, Spanish word, but like, and you and you want to submit your film, um, you can't if once it's submitted, you can't release it to nobody. So let's say you submit mm. it to these big film festivals, they want exclusivity to your film. So oh, if okay. they like if they like your movie, then they want to be the ones to be like it's going to premiere here or it's going to be shown yeah. here. So if it's on YouTube or they catch it on Amazon, you're immediately disqualified. Oh damn! At, at, it's at like least that. From, from from most of these film festivals, yeah, because they want the exclusivity. Like the smaller film festivals, they don't really care. But all these big important ones, like, don't risk releasing it or anything because they will look you up. And if it's out, they'll be like, yeah, you're disqualified. So yeah. when you when you submit, um, I mean, so how many can you do a year? You can't really do that much then. Yeah, you can you can do whatever as long as you have the money. That's the one thing. Like I realized, like I thing. should have budgeted for some for the film festivals because mm. that started adding up. I think I spent maybe a couple hundred dollars, and then I was like, I don't have no more money. Like if it gets yeah. in, it gets in. If not, then I'm fucked. Like whatever. I mean, whatever. And uh, it's yeah. done better on streaming though. Like streaming, the numbers are not crazy, but I mean, Jesus, beside compared to the way it was before, like in festivals, like it's yeah. people are watching finally. Yeah, we want people to go watch it, and, and, and we'll definitely be watching it, man. I'll give you, like, 10 views and shit. I'll fucking I, put on all I my would, TVs. I would really love to know what you think about it. And here's my thing. I don't yeah, care if you, if you hate it. It's fine. I just love to know that you watched it and formed your own mm -hmm. opinion on the movie. That's all I yeah. care about. That is yeah. it. It's, it's important to be like, if you didn't like it, did you watch it? Yeah, perfect. That's fine. As long as mm -hmm. you watched it, formed your own opinion, yeah. it was, like, it was my opinion, then we're good. <laughs> Blocks on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what was the uh what was the worst review you got on one of your movies? Uh besides the this is a comedy. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> movies, uh, I've gotten hmm. Uh, I got it okay, one of my worst reviews was one I didn't release. Because I've gotten Damn. from like six, I've gotten Damn. people say like, oh, it's boring. Or, like, it's too boring, it's too long. But, like, it's very rare I'll get somebody to say that. You know, because I'm like, if you know what you're going to get into, then you know what to expect on this movie. Uh, right. But, like, it was one I didn't release. And when I was, when we were editing it or whatever, and we were, like, doing the sound design, uh, the guy who was scoring the film had showed it to his friend. And uh, he called me the next day, and he's like, hey, I showed it to uh, to my homegirl. And she was, a, uh, she was a music artist. And I was like, oh, what'd she think? He said, he goes, he said, uh. He said, if I, if I wanted to do what's best for my career, I shouldn't work with you. I was like, oh, fuck. Shit. He said, that movie was that bad. And at first, I was like, oh, this is not bad. But then rewatching, I was like, damn, this movie was bad. And it wasn't that it was like a bad movie. It was just the, the movie I made was like, why did I do this? And it, was a, and it was like a cop movie stopping a... It was even a movie I wanted to make. It was a movie I was like, maybe I should make this to get some views or whatever. It was nothing uh -huh. I cared about. It was just like, oh, this is what's going on in the world. Like, let's... let's... And I'm not saying I don't care about the... Obviously, I do. But like, it wasn't something like a movie for me to make you know there's other movies that mm -hmm. people have done way better at that subject and i just didn't hit it right and that was the worst thing and after i just i didn't release it i rewatched it a couple of times i actually told my friends tell me your honest opinions you're not gonna hurt my feelings it will hurt right. my feelings if i release it and y'all didn't tell me it was horrible yeah and yeah they were all like yeah bro it's bad like it's the acting is bad for most of these characters like the, oh. the everything about the sound isn't as good like the cinematography, some of it's off, and I was like, damn. Yeah. All Speaking right. with the truth, man, it's it's just the best. It's like um, in comedy, mm -hmm. when we get off stage, we have a bad habit. A lot of comments of saying, hey, good set, bro, and we just saw the guy bomb. It's like, you know, don't <laughs> lie. It, honesty is the best way to do it, yeah. man. Just keep it honest. How did you fund the movie? How did you come uh, up with all that? It's just one of my friends. Um, so it was like a coworker. Uh, and me and my wife worked with and he's really good. He's like a family friend of ours. And I was looking for, I was looking for, so I was going to do the movie regardless. We we had the, ca we had one of the cameras and mm -hmm. that we were going to use. And we were like, we'll use this, this, this red camera. If we can't get the money, then we'll use this one. We won't use the other stuff. But I talked to him, I pitched him the script. I told him exactly what it was. We went to go have lunch and he was like, how much, how much? And you got to start high. So I'm like, well, you know, I was looking for like 10 grand. I was like, but you know what? I think we can do it with three grand. And he was like, I got you. <laughs> so I was like, cool. Yeah. So that's how I got it. And he was cool. He, he wrote me the check and I sent it to my, uh, pro one of my producers and we were able to fund every, all the, uh, the gear and stuff catering. I mean, it was just what we could for the film and, it's and, an and to get it done. 
And for that homie right there, that's an investment, right? So mm-hmm. you're obviously you're gonna go out there and do the best you can and make that money back. Exactly. Otherwise, so he's a producer on out. it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He's a producer on it. Well, he's executive producer since he funded the movie. It's it's an executive mm-hmm. producer. Uh, that's the, the title of executive producer is the ones who fund the movie. Uh, okay. I nice. Didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, producer. Yeah. Different producer helps make the movie. Executive is like I'll pay to make the movie. Oh, oh shit. Okay. No wonder I see like. I saw Danny DeVito's name, I think, in Pulp Fiction or something. So, yeah, something about executive. I think he funded mm-hmm. part of it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most of like that. It, it usually, when they have like big star names as executives, they don't even really fund it. They just put their names so that they oh. can be like, "Oh shit, Danny DeVito, executive producer," you know. And so a lot of like when you see those big names, unless it's Kevin Hart, because I know he puts his money in a lot of his movies. Uh, they yeah. put their names just so that they can get the backing or they can get the people to go watch it. So, are we planning for? Um, a short film for lyrical coming up as a rapper and everything and you know hey i've been telling this man let's get some music we're, we're supposed to do a music video soon though yeah oh All okay right. we got it in the plant like, yeah and we're supposed yeah. to i want to make it into a like a like a film look of the video okay. so i don't i, I don't want to just shoot like this regular music video i want to actually make it feel like it's a movie i don't know maybe yeah. like frozen dude come like to vegas yeah, yeah. yeah. you get it. the dress I'm and stuff it. we'll do it's that maybe be a lot of them yeah, no, hey, I wanna we wanna go to Vegas and do some stuff over there for sure. And Freddie, yeah. I wanna help you on your short film. You let me know. Thank you, bro. I, I okay I will be mad if I don't get help. I will fly out there to okay. go help you. Whatever we I, I really I I I'm down. I know Juan and Wolf would be too. A lyrical All right. Thank yeah. you, bro. I appreciate that, watch. man. Yeah. Yeah, you come watch. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. He'll rap for no, us. No, that's, that's dope, bro. Um, <laughs> During breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Just start freestyling. Musical, man. Yeah. yeah It'll be a rap, rap the musical. musical. There it is, bro. <laughs> it could be a, a, a rap say- musical. Yeah, that's I mean, actually yeah. something that I've always wanted to do is write a rap musical. Yeah. Have you guys seen that mm-hmm. movie, um, City Heights? Or um, It came out like two years ago or so. Oh. It's a musical with some Into Latinos. The Heights. Yes, they have some rap in that. And I was like, I've never seen rap in a musical. That's pretty dope. If they do it good, I'm not big on musicals, uh, but if they do them good, like. I love musicals. Yeah, I'm not big. A lot of land. What's your favorite musical? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. La La Land. Mine's La La Land. No, uh, you know, I've never really even seen Grease. I actually like, like, uh, no shit. Willy Wonka is something that I like watching with my kids. And I like the music. Like, oh, yeah, I think it's like really it. underrated music. Just the way that they write everything out, and the yeah. rhymes within the lines that like don't stand out. But it's like, man, somebody took their time writing that shit. I forgot Willy Wonka was a musical. I remember you told. I mean, you said it last week too. But I forgot it was a musical. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Colin, that's... what's your favorite Beauty and the Beast? Oh, uh, dude, fan of the opera. It's the best fucking musical of all time. Oh, nice. Mm, yeah. What about you, Freddie? So I like Beauty and the Beast. Um. Yeah, Beauty and Beast. <laughs> Beauty and Beast is good. <laughs> Me and Wolf both said uh, Chicago. Mm. Chicago. I that can't think of. Uh, can't think of any musical right now. Uh, no, uh, other than that, Hairspray. that Latino. I really like that Latino I went one. Went to the Heights. Yeah, I haven't seen Hairspray or La La Land. I, I hear La La Land's like one of the best. I've never La seen. Um, mm-hmm. What is that West Side Story? Oh, West Side Story is yes. fantastic. There's yeah, two, isn't there? I've never seen that one. There's the a new one. Yeah, they, they remade, remade it. Yeah. Dude, yeah. the funniest yeah. thing about the old one is they just hired uh, tan uh, Italians to play Puerto Ricans. And you notice it really? within the first. Yeah, because they just wouldn't hire Puerto Ricans to be in it. So they just hired tan Italians to play That's why Puerto John Ricans. Leguizamo's uh, pissed off, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's always mad, though. <laughs> always. Yeah, he is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Here we go, John Leguizamo again. Yeah, and he was a Puerto Rican playing. I, I love the guy, man. I like him. I've liked him ever since like his uh, what was that old Super Mario uh, Brothers? Freak, the uh, old uh, stand up, <laughs> and then oh, he yeah. was in that movie Pest, like which is mm. still one of my Pest. favorite movies. Yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah, just all of the the griping. It's like I don't you know, have bitch. an opinion, Stop but bitch, don't bro. always get on camera. And gripe about everything. It's like you're you're not helping. You're not making. It reminds me of a chick. It reminds me of somebody like posting screenshots of conversations. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That's the same. Oh, John. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. The fact that he won't see yeah, Mario Brothers for that reason is wild. It's a cartoon. Yeah. Dude, it literally oh is like a cartoon. Yeah. yeah. He's it's, like, there wasn't enough representation. Up? I'm like, they're all white. What are you talking about? Like, what, yeah, like, boy, what, like, what representation do you need? I thought you were joking. This is serious. That he's talking shit about Mario Brothers? Yeah. yeah. He, said, he's, he's, uh, not, uh, he won't watch it because they didn't hire any uh, Latin voice actors. Oh, my God. Isn't he Italian? That's why they're like. No, he's Colombian. He's, I thought he was Puerto Rican. No, he's no, Colombian? Mario. No. Yeah. Oh, Mario's Italian. I think Italian. he might be mixed. No, Mario. Yeah, because he Mario. played an Italian in the original No, Mario's Mario. a plumber. Oh, Mar- Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mario. Yeah, because he yeah, was yeah. Luigi <laughs> in the original Mario. Mario. <laughs> Luigi's a yeah, ghost yeah. hunter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he it all started. The, well, he probably has been doing it for a long time, but when he went after James Franco for being Fidel Castro. Which, uh, well, well, what do you guys feel about that? Here. The casting on Hot that. Late. What do y'all feel about casting on like white actors to play like that? Like, what, what are your like honest thoughts? Oh, I'm gonna mute my mic on this one. <laughs> 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 it's okay. Hey, uh, um, uh, uh, no, I think whoever has the talent, if you have the talent to do it, do it. Uh, be because I mean, you've seen it. There's, there's been some that, like, are you gonna really have somebody with Down syndrome play? Forrest Gump, you know, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like that you know, movie like, wouldn't have been, but yeah, it's a, it's a weird, it just seems like a weird thing. You're like, mm-hmm. does it really matter that much to do? Like, I don't imagine people, the West Side Story one, you go like, yeah, you could probably get some Latinos to play mm-hmm. like the Jets. I would, like, I would rather see Wesley Snipes and, and John Leguizamo be transsexuals than have a real transsexual that doesn't know how to act. You exactly. Know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called that's yeah. what's called acting. Like you're doing yes. a job. It's like you can't. Like, you don't have to be your skin color. That's the dumbest shit ever, dude. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's the dumbest it, shit. It, and it's getting worse too. It's like we're going. We're not even moving. We're the, not even getting. I, I'm. I'm so happy we're having this conversation and we're and we're all like three Latino, five including your producers and Colin's Latino too. Fuck it. You yeah, know, yeah, like. Colin. Colin, hey, what's up, you're, you're you're your new name's Weddle, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Weddle. You're Weddle. What's up? <laughs> you're definitely I mean, but it's not. Not. <laughs> My girl's from New Mexico, so that kind of counts. That right? counts. I don't know. Yeah, it's like I have yeah. a black well, well, that counts. Well, this. this... <laughs> I'm going to get canceled for this because your show is way more popular. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that we've said. All right. Yeah, no, we yeah. have com- we have comedy fans, though. They, they, you know, it's Perfect. like, that's the thing. It's like, this is why I'm, I love having this conversation with us that are brown and that it's, we're kind of like, t- ups- we're kind of like sick and tired of that whole woke shit, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's not a political thing. Fuck politics. Mm-hmm. Just that woke shit, like all that sensitivity stuff is like, stop mm-hmm. calling us Latin X. I'm not Latin. I'm a, I'm a Latino. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. a fucking beaner. You know, like, there was a uh, Hispanic. There was a, I'd rather be Gabriel. called beaner than Latin X. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I'd yeah, rather I like be Latin called X. Spick. Mm-hmm. I think I would rather be called. <laughs> Freddie's right. I'm with Freddie. <laughs> Spick, wet back. I'd rather be called Colin, all of those call? besides Latinx. Colin, Latinx is a huge insult. It's a slap to our face. Yeah, it's a slap. It's it's like we're we're gonna name you this now because we don't want your feelings. I never told you my feelings were hurt. Stop mm-hmm. calling me that. You know. And now that our off. feelings are hurt, they're all like, nope, nope, doesn't count, doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, the, the casting, it just doesn't make sense. Like, one of the great movies, uh, there's this movie called Birdcage, where oh, Robin Bird Williams, Cage. it's a great movie. Robin Williams plays a gay Bird. guy. Mm-hmm. He's not a gay guy, and, but it's such a great movie. You're like, yeah, would there have been a better gay actor in that movie, really? Like, would, the, would that have made the movie exponentially better? Probably mm-hmm. not. No. Just, well, s- well, somebody might say, where do you draw the line, though? Like... Remember those Asian when it was somebody that was white and make the, put the oh, big old teeth and yeah, uh, and you know the fucking eyes and everything and that's you know. probably Didn't too far. Didn't John Wayne <laughs> play like Genghis Khan or something? Oh, dude, it's the funniest yeah. movie ever. Now. Yeah, yeah, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> There's been a lot of those because even on Weird yeah. Science, uh, Homeboy played an Indian dude. Right, like that may be fine. That might be too far, but like I don't know. You fall in these lines sometimes. You're like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's a better actor movie. that could have played Genghis Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you on that. We're like more than John can't... Wayne. I don't. I don't think. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That... 
Freddie, they are in Texas. We can't be saying shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got our guns ready. So lyrical for sure. Yeah, I wanted to see John Wayne as Malcolm X, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That would be the funniest like total circle of it is like they just get like the whitest guy to play Malcolm X and like Tupac, you get like Eminem to yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. It on him, man. We'll get Mark Wahlberg to play Malcolm Anti-woke. X. Anti woke. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Chris Pratt as uh, Martin Luther King. That's what we're doing. Oh, that'd be fucking awesome. Gosh. The oh music. My god. Was, oh, was that dude that sings thrift shop? The one rapper, oh, uh, Macklemore. 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 That'd be oh, cool if he was if he was Tupac, dude. <laughs> you know? Oh, you know when I was six, I thought that I was gay. Yeah, that would be hilarious. <laughs> 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 there was a lot of controversy about that one line, right? Yeah. And he won a Would fucking like, Emmy or what? something, whatever it was. Yeah, Grammy for that. Grammy. And you're like, like what? Yeah. Like I don't know. I mean, that <laughs> movie, like, that it, song stunk. I, I have a theory that <laughs> yeah. Why when, can't the song just suck? Like yeah, right. Does it have to be <laughs> they gotta win awards for this shit. Yeah, well, I have like, a theory uh, that Lo- whatever with oh go ahead go ahead. No, no, no. no. So like no, no you go say, first. Like with lot with logic, he wins mm-hmm. this award for like his suicide song. It's not bad, but you're like there, you're telling me there's no other hip hop song that was better that year. It was just because the message. The- that's right, something that like, irritates the shit out of me in the music industry. Anybody that's popular is always like the best of the best. And everybody says they're the greatest of all mm-hmm. time. But mm. there's so many other artists that have done it way better than them. But they get no yeah. recognition. But I don't yeah, know. Yeah, or and it's, it goes back kind of like the the filmmaking and everything. It's the connections you have, you know. Yeah, there's like, there's so uh, much talent there's so much talent out there it just hasn't been discovered yet that's why oh, yeah. that's why when you see all these rappers blow up from texas like these motherfuckers been doing it for 15 20 years mm-hmm. and it's like it's not a success overnight it's a success over two decades you know like um that mm-hmm. dude that's now blowing up uh from houston i think beat keen have you heard of him beat keen or uh, beat king? No. He makes some funny. This motherfucker makes some funny uh, rap songs, bro. And like the lyrics are hilarious. It's all stripper music, mm-hmm. and, and uh, he's just blowing up now. But like, again, he I heard him on an interview. It's because of the connections. So like, when you say something like that, like in a Club like, Godzilla. yeah, Club Godzilla. There you go. That's his name. Yeah, yeah. This guy's huge. Oh, that's his name, or that's the song. I think it's Beat Keen and Club. I think all that is his name. Oh, he has a bunch gotcha. of names. Yeah, yeah. But like with the hip hop, like the underground is usually better. Like for Philly, we have Jedi Mind Tricks. Jedi Mind. I love Tricks. Jedi Mind. I love Jedi Mind. Tricks. Jedi Mind Tricks. Uh, and um, yeah, Army they're fucking Pharaohs. fantastic. Oh, it's what a fucking album that is. They're fantastic. But like them, uh, Mortal Technique is great. Mm-hmm. Never got. Everybody's like, oh yeah, no, this song was great. And you're like, yeah. No man, this this one by uh, Little Kim was the best hip hop song of the year. You're right? Like, was it no, really? Because they got all those ex- executives. They go to mm-hmm. the, the networking, and it, it, it all comes the favors. Comes, yeah, yeah right. favors. Yep. Mm-hmm. It all comes down to that. Yeah, that's all it is. It's all a connection thing. Because if it wasn't, if it was really about talent, we would not be hearing what, what's on the radio today, what's popping on right. everything. It, if it was really about talent, not saying that that some of yeah. these aren't talented. There's a few. That do have the talent, but for the most part, like it's it's a talented pool. Well, it's a you see, pool. you see, uh, look, I here I have a theory, and I might it might be it might, it might not even make sense, but you know how we have so many one hit wonders, bro. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. because of that, because somebody discovered them, but that person wasn't ready. Otherwise, they mm-hmm. would have way more hits. Mm-hmm. You see, 100%. like percent. It, it, it's that it's, happens a lot, Freddie, with uh, like. I mean, just not, to, but like female comics get a big jump because there is such a small pool of them, and they're not ready. Like yeah. a four-year female comic or like a a ten-year, ten-year, ten-year. Amy year Schumer, ready. sorry to interrupt. Amy Schumer yeah. blew up when she was ten, and she ten years ain't shit, bro. I'm eleven years. She's super talented, but that's why she got a lot of shit. Also, right? You're just like you're not. You can't. You got to put in the real work with that. Mm-hmm. You can't just drag about that that's, that's very so interesting cool about to say podcasts. that about how like female like they throw the female uh comedians are even if they're like two years in three years in it's like we need female mm-hmm. comedians but it's like but they're not ready yet like you yeah. wouldn't do that to a male comedian like three years in like you you waiting yeah. for them to get well, really they good have done it. 
And and it sucks because then they point it back at us for being like, they're not good. Oh, so you don't like female comedians? No, no, no. They're just, Thick boy. it's just not good. That's it. Yeah. They, they could get better. Like, I'm not saying they're, you know, it will get better. Jesus Paso said that. Just so you guys know, Jesus <laughs> Paso said that. He's in the, he's in the burgundy this shirt. This is Freddie Korea. This is Freddie Korea. Did not say <laughs> that. This is yeah, my he, voice. No, I love, I love, I, <laughs> I, I'm a big advocate for female films, but I don't think there's enough good ones. Like, people are like, oh, you hate female films? I'm like, bro, no. Like, <laughs> some course. of the best movies are from female Word. leads, but because they're Name movies, five. No, uh, I disagree. <laughs> may, may, I disagree. Alien, Tomb Raider? There's two. No. <laughs> come on, Terminator? Come on. There's some oh, really good Terminator. female leads. Like, there's like, I mean, even no. Avatar, there's exactly. some really good. It's just not, there's not yeah. a lot. Kill Bill 1 and 2. Boom, perfect, man. Right. Yeah. But there really is. A, but that's what it is, what's cool now about podcasting is you can really, if you want to find something, like, I mean, when do you turn on the radio anymore? Mm -hmm. That's what's so great about it. Like you're just like, no, nah, I'm good, man. Like I'm gonna find the shit that I enjoy. Yeah. Like, you had yeah. these comics like Mark Norman's just getting popular. Everybody in the comic world has known about him for five, six years already. Now and everybody's like, yeah. kind of following his yeah. formula of just releasing it on YouTube. Now, yeah. like, because that was something that was kind of like he tried to mm -hmm. get it on like the bigger platforms, but nobody was buying it, mm -hmm. so he just put it out on YouTube. Now everybody's starting to do that. Yeah, it seems like uh, it's, the, it's the new way of uh, releasing a special, you know, mm -hmm. putting well, it you on YouTube. Track yeah. your views, too. Like, that's yeah. the other thing with Netflix. You can't track how many views yeah. they actually got. Like, yeah. how many people actually watched. Like, does that happen with you with the movie? Does, it, does Amazon tell you how many people watched your movie? Well, the distribution center I go through, it, it gives me, like, the not the views, but it will give me, like, like a percentage, like a, it shows me like a rate, like, oh, it goes up, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, but it doesn't really show me the views. It just, it shows me like a chart of how high, like more people are watching. All right. So yeah. that's why that, but that's why YouTube has been so great because you can yeah. go, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I see the amount of people that actually watch this. You can actually mm -hmm. have a number and show great. Hey guys, I want to make another film. I had mm -hmm. whatever, watch this and they go, oh, okay. For Netflix, they're like, no, 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 you got to be in bed with us now. It's like we don't have to anymore. Mm -hmm. Lyrical. I was going to ask you: Is your do you have music on Spotify and everything? Not on Spotify. It's on uh, like YouTube and uh, TikTok. Recently, is what I've been getting into, just to kind of show the uh, versatility mm -hmm. of like all the different stuff that I can do. But yeah, TikTok is the That's... one that I've been focusing on the most. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, good what's your TikTok? TikTok? Uh, unorthodox MC. And MC is spelled out E M C E E. Nope. Yeah, what a, that's cool, man. What kind of style are you rapping in? And like, is it that kind of Houston? No, kinda... it's not like that at all. It's not a. Like, I mean, I like that stuff. I grew up listening to it, but it's not. It's just. I don't know. I pulled from a lot of underground people i like experimenting with different stuff but i'm really big on like lyrics and actually like trying to have something to say mm -hmm. so like people say that it's like grown man music it's more <laughs> just like like it's not yeah. like a club it's not like anything that you would ever hear on the radio it's just kind of just talking about i think you like it it, it definitely has the it it, it ha it's a storytelling, lyrical type of thing. Like, he's not so lyrical, but it's storytelling, which is, like, just consistently, like, damn. And the flow is really good that he does just really, really good. I can't wait damn. to hear it, bro. I can't wow. wait. Um, I, I love dabbling. I, I'm not a – I don't know the names of, like, a bunch of underground or hip-hop people, but I just love – like, what Colin was saying earlier about turning on the radio, no one really does that anymore, but, like, one of the things I like to do, because I use YouTube music, when I find a song I like, I, I click on the option to turn it into a radio. So then I find stuff. Mm. I find new artists that are similar mm -hmm. to that genre. So then I'm not listening to stuff I choose, like, or people, people that are on my playlist. Now mm -hmm. I could discover new music and shit. So yeah. I love, yeah, exactly, bro. So definitely going to check you out on that. And, uh, you don't do that on Spotify either? Do you, do you I don't do song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's how I do it. Yeah. I click it and go to the radio to it, and then all of a sudden I'm the like, radio, oh. yeah. Oh, it has the options. I haven't fucked with yeah. Spotify that much. 
Mm-hmm. I just use the free version for the for Rogan's podcast. Oh, got you. Yeah, I do the same yeah. with YouTube music, uh, especially like if you like a video on YouTube, it turns it into a song as well. So you can. Like, I like that. Yeah, I love that feature. I need to check yeah, that it's out. It's the best. Yeah, uh, Colin's gonna make fun of me, but I'm always promoting YouTube Premium because you get YouTube music for free. <laughs> <laughs> and now a sponsor from our ad, YouTube Premium. Yeah. yeah. Use, Almost uh, every episode. I find use a uh, promo code TFTI. Get yeah. a first month free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what about you? Um, I want to know about you guys. Like, I want to, like this. Is, I feel like this has been like a such a, a Jesus and lyrical podcast. Oh, before I do. I love women leads, okay? And I love female comedians. They We're going to edit that. We're going to edit that. Yeah. No, he doesn't. I just no, he Friday, doesn't. Friday, I'm writing down the time code now. Don't worry, I'm no, writing down the time yeah. code just, now. The, they, the version you'll get of this podcast will not have this part, know, right? just so you know. Stop wasting your time because it's not going to make it. I don't want to get canceled yeah. yet before my career started. <laughs> no, I do. I love female leads for sure, though. I do. They just, there's not a lot. There's not enough good ones. Yeah, That's the truth. You're trying too hard, That's the bro. truth. But yeah. go ahead, bro. Uh, but cool. Doesn't we feel believe. genuine. What about Made in Manhattan, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> well, so like, <laughs> just real quick to go back to, to what we were talking about. There's a movie that was made in the '80s called mm-hmm. Tootsie. Tootsie. I heard of it. So he, it's um the guy who plays Rain Man. I can't remember the Dustin Hoffman. Uh, yeah, Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays uh, essentially. He dresses up as a woman to get a, a role in a show. And you're like, yeah, Dustin Hoffman was the best actor at that time. They're like, did you really want like a a drag queen or like a, a trans person coming in? Would that have been like that's where you're like, I, this movie wouldn't be better. Like, Dustin Hoffman played a great role. I don't know why you'd uh, yeah. You remember the movie Soul Man? Yeah, yeah. I remember that about the oh. white guy that pretended to be black to get into that. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. how come nobody yeah. talks about that? Oh, because they yeah. try to cancel. They try to erase that movie. So like, nobody back then, really nobody cared. It was just like a movie. Like you didn't care. He was literally just rubbing paint on himself. And yeah. yeah, and yeah. it was just like that was fine. <laughs> but like violent. Robert Downey Jr. does it, and just because Dude, it's more so recent, f- then everybody goes crazy. Well, but because like Robert the Downey irony. Jr. did it was so yeah. good though. Like, and it was making fun of the fact that they do it. Like, cause I. I do see the fact that Homeboy in that movie painted his face black. black to, I see it in the movie because he wanted to get in and be an African-American, but it was fucked up the way it was. But no. Robert Downey Jr.'s was done very well because he was making fun of those type of things. Yes. And that's why it works. Because like, I yeah. would never try and to go oh, blackface. Hell no. No, 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 no. But making fun of it like Robert Downey Jr. did, like, that Dude, was he really perfect. Wants a the what? No, it's just funny. You're like, <laughs> you're just like, no, nah, man. I am not. I'm saying it's totally okay. I'm Look, not getting canceled. Please don't, yeah, yeah. Anti- <laughs> Please don't cancel yeah. me. Please don't cancel Please don't cancel me. Guys. You Brian, sound like me we... on the last episode. Yeah. I was like, I was backtracking because we we're talking about Chris Rock's review, and I'm like, I feel weird as a comic reviewing another comic's special. Mm-hmm. So I was like backtracking a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, I didn't really mean it like that though. I meant it like yeah. <laughs> that's how I have no, to no. do sometimes. And no, I'm lucky I edit you. my podcast because I gotta sometimes be like, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said this right here. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Oh, we've been there. <laughs> we've been <laughs> you there. You guys know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I'm cool. Yeah. I, I'm really, I'm very open on this one. No, I, I'm, I, I respect oh, yeah. all of it. All of it. It's all art to me. Just make good art. That's all. That's except okay. women. Yeah. Except. yeah, it's all art yeah. except. <laughs> Well, they're incapable. Of I feel they're gonna cut this clip if I agree. No, no I do want to see Barbie, so shout out to Barbie because of Ryan Gosling. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. Who doesn't what? It's Barbie not even right? because it's a movie. movie. <laughs> Barbie looks dope. I didn't know there was a movie, Barbie. Yeah, it's it's coming out. Uh, and I was gonna say I leaving on this because I think. I don't even think gay people want to see gay people like as like male leads. I think they want to see like Ryan Reynolds and stuff like that's what they want to go see. They want to actually see these buff dudes. Like that's that's what the women want. That's what they want. Like they don't want to see another like flamboyant dude, guy walking around. Who's buffer than a gay dude though? The what? Who's buffer than yeah. a gay? Dude? What I'm saying is like acting. The, if as long as they act that masculinity on the screen, like that's what they all want. Like that's yeah. the whole point. You know, it's to what reach that all the audience. That came out recently. I see what you're saying. No, I totally hey, see. I what think you're saying. I saw the one, bros. Yeah, we watched yeah, the yeah, movie bro. the other how, night. How was it? It was. Uh, it. it. <laughs> It's funny, <laughs> but there are some parts to where it's like, uh, you know, like, I don't like, 
I don't know. It's it was lot. like they like they went say it, for it. Say it. You no, they went for it. it. Okay, they went for it. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. was like it was it was funny, and then it, like they were even making oh. fun of like yeah. gay people in it. But okay, it was just, I, okay. Uh, was it wokey? Was it woke? No, it actually didn't come across that way. That it, it was pretty inclusive. So there was okay. like there was like trans people. There was gay. Then there was like bi. But it was but they were making okay, okay. fun of their own people. Uh, Okay, I'll put it. Okay, let me put it like this: Were they politically correct, where, or, or, or would they use words like the f word? That sounds like, you know what? Uh, no, they were kind of. Mag- uh, they were making fun of each other. I don't know what the f word. If you could say it. Uh, so it rhymes with maggot. Uh, still not, not sure. Not, no. Uh, no. Uh, probably uh, edit that and put an f. But uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> like they were they were kind of like just like kind of making fun of like the stereotypes and the way that they look at themselves like okay you know, that's like cool. if like yeah if like we were around each other like as like hispanic people yeah and then there's like another group of hispanic people we'd probably sit there and like oh they're you know like picking yeah. apart like all these stereotypes yeah. and stuff that's kind of yeah. how it oh was. that's cool so oh. it was it was funny yeah, right. because it was like Oh shit! I didn't know they like mm-hmm. joked about that stuff, or they make fun of them for this. Yeah. Or... I think well, that's the fear is going in and not thinking they would do that because it looked funny on the trailers. I was like, it actually looks pretty funny. Yeah, it was a sure. funny movie. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they were they they went for it on some parts. It was kind of oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And I was wondering because um, I, I, I have some some gay friends that are comics, but because because they're comics, they're very they they hate that woke. Like you can't mm-hmm. say the f word. You can't say they. But that's, I don't know, I don't know that other world of, like, well, I do have a few other ones that are, like, very sensitive. So it's like, you know, that's the thing is, like, I think there, there's a there's a group of, of gay people that don't give a fuck about all that, uh, the alpha. They just, they're, just, they're just people. Like, it's just they're people just living. people. Like, that yeah. really is what comes down yeah. to it. It's like, yeah, you're just people uh, t- living and having these thoughts. It's just a small yeah. minority of t- that group that doesn't like that. Because the majority of them is like, this yeah. is fine. This is like, what, what's the problem with this? Just like us, right. we yeah. don't care about, and we're not offended by, like, Mexican stereotypes or none of that I stuff. Don't care. Like, it's like, yeah. there's just, like, a small group of people yeah. that are like that well just one john Luguizamo. <laughs> yeah <laughs> every group but, got their john yeah, other than that like yeah it's just but even, it's usually is, white is people he a, on is he our karen race. i think so is john Luguizamo our karen dude because who else there is they know other hispanic there's dude, nobody like else that's doing that Michelle i mean even ricky too. martin ricky martin's quiet fucking his nephew he doesn't give a fuck oh, yeah, he doesn't have any room to criticize anybody right now Wow, He's minding his own business, bro. He yeah. just, you know, fucking Liguizamo's over here fucking it up. But Freddie, your um, that musical Into the Heights got criticized for not using. They said the right Latino because they didn't use like a, a t- and you're like, oh, guys, I don't know, man. Like no, this seems like it. a lot. Uh, what like the, the the right country like Dominican or yeah, Puerto like, Rican? Yeah, like they like they didn't use enough Dominicans. They used oh they, shit! I remember that they used the light skin ones. Yeah, uh, and you're like, they do that for everything just, though. Yeah, every well, Colin every wants Hispanic. to say. I mean, to me, y'all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Any I, like, I don't know why everybody's angry. I just I, I like get I like Italians back. I don't. I know. like how you made Colin sound like a black dude. <laughs> 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 you sound like the big dude from the Green Mile or something. Like that. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Green Mile. Yeah, that was it is the Green Mile. On Holy hey fuck. man, hey! I gotta say though, look, we hit a, an hour and forty three minutes. Holy shit, um, shit! This has been fun, man. Uh, mm-hmm. I I want to keep going. Let's do this again. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah Let's yeah, definitely do sure. this again because we didn't get to ask this you was... guys enough questions. You inter- inter- okay. inter- interrogated us and almost broke us up. <laughs> But we're strong. <laughs> yeah. We stayed strong. It's just there you go. one of us yeah. on the next one. Yeah, Cap, the next episode, maybe. <laughs> yeah. but not this one. Not yet. I, I think uh I think you guys uh have something good going on. I've been taking notes yeah. and you guys you guys passed, yeah. man. You Thank passed, you, man. definitely. <laughs> no, you guys you guys are badass, man. Um 
I want to tell people, and I'm going to have it on the description and of, uh, of my version on the on the YouTube. You know, the one that's going to get you canceled. But uh, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to the cancel episode. But I, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. the the, that's the name of the episode. The, <laughs> the one where the guys from TFTI get the Fuck other TFTI invite. get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> now they have to change their name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> No one's invited. It's all part of their master plan. I'm going to change mine to thank you for the invite. (laughs) Just thank you. Thank you for the invite. Um, You guys are great as well, man. You guys are – I'm very excited for everybody to check you guys out as well. Even though the small fan base we have, I'm very excited. Like, this was awesome. I never thought we'd do something like this. And I know we've been talking about it since, I believe, January. Yeah. We finally got to it. So this is – this is – Way better than I. I was like, maybe we be nervous. Maybe it's not gonna be. Like, maybe it won't be as good. But I'm really glad you guys like this because you guys are great, you. man. No, yeah, like, you yeah. guys, you guys are awesome, bro. And uh, the guys back there producing, shout out to you guys too, man. I wanna, I wanna plug all you guys like uh, in a non-sexual way. What, what do you wanna plug? Hey, yo. Lyrical. Uh, or not? <laughs> <laughs> MC uh, on uh, Instagram and. Uh, Fucking, why can I remember this TikTok, damn website? TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. What That's was it again? TikTok. Unorthodox Unorthon? MC. Yeah, all okay. one word. MC. Twitter, Instagram, out. TikTok, all the same I thing. don't have Twitter, but. Oh, no, you don't have Twitter? No. Instagram and TikTok, you got. I'm late to cool. TikTok also. I just recently. And MC, E-M-C-E-E. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, definitely on TikTok. Definitely following you on that, brother. Hell yeah. Um, hey, Suze. Um. Same with Spectre Studios, uh, S P E K T R E Studios, uh, to check out on Instagram. I have some on TikTok, but Instagram and then YouTube. Check out my stuff on there as well. Uh, yeah, those are check that one out. And obviously, you'll know TFTI. Just type in TFTI and Freddie's podcast. Will pop Hell yeah, up. you'll see us there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see. His, how about yeah. how about if it's a Mexican and white dude? That's the right podcast. <laughs> you gotta keep scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, go 18 pages and then you'll find us. <laughs> Um, Juan and Wolf, let's plug some of your stuff, guys, if you want to, or unless you want to remain yeah, we'll anonymous. This. Nah, we're all getting nah, canceled cool. together. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm cool with it. Hold on, I gotta look at mine. It's a little. Uh, 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 oh man, he's got underscore. Uh, shout out to my podcast, Los Osos Golosos Podcast. Uh, we're Los, Ojo, like Los Osos Golosos. Osos Golosos Podcast. Yeah, uh, you can oh. find us on Instagram, osos golosos podcast. And on uh, was YouTube as well, Osos Golosos podcast, mm-hmm. and TikTok as well. So same thing. What is you guys' podcast about? Uh, we shoot the shit, man. A lot of it's comedy based. We just try to make each other laugh, and just really just kind of get kind of like the TFTI vibe, a little way funnier. But uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, we we've had uh, we we just had lyrical la- last week. You should check out that episode. That one's really funny. Definitely, um, bro. I will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, uh, I would love and, to come on, bro. Uh, thanks for the self invite podcast. No, <laughs> I would love to be on there. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a good one. And then yeah. I don't do a whole lot on media wise posting, but unless it's with TFTI you got that fucking stuff. candle next but. to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that ca- let me Wolf see. Barrel. Oh hell no, dude, that's fucking- <laughs> that's <laughs> that that's hilarious. Um, it's uh, Wolf ninety five I, but it's like underscore between each letter, so it's like W. Oh my goodness. W. Yeah. W well, underscore. Good luck on that one. Yeah, underscore. you can. Yeah. Are you trying? Are you trying never be fined? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Found. <laughs> well, I don't want. Twenty three like, okay. So like, there's so like people just copping that name. Like, all right, it's a typical name, but I just. Well, it's ninety five, bro. Yeah. So it's underscore I. Wolf ninety five I. No W underscore O <laughs> underscore. Holy L shit. Underscore. <laughs> Colin's like, damn. <laughs> See what I'm doing with you people? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it, if it's cool with you guys, I'll put all you guys on there on the description too, man. Thank you so much, bro. Hell yeah. Hey, but you guys too. You guys plug it in over here as well. We want everybody to check whatever you guys want. Colin? Okay. Uh, FreddyKorea.com. 
And you can get all my links there. And uh, it's Fred Recker up across the board everywhere. F R E D R E K E R. And that's also the YouTube channel where you can find things for the invite. Uh, and we're also, you know, Spotify, all that good stuff, all, all the platforms. So, yeah. And then uh, mine is uh, on Instagram. It's uh, Colin S21. And then on Letterbox and Twitter, it's uh, C Staley776. Yeah, Colin is like, well, you're in the shadows, dude. Because even though I follow you on Instagram, I don't really, you don't really post anything, dude. No, I just you're like uh, memes. You just send people I'm... memes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people like you are important. Yeah, yeah we need man. you. We need yeah. more of you in the, the world. unsung heroes. You yeah. know what? Next next time we need to interview Colin because he, I need to know more about this guy. What yeah. the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the swap cast, the smash cast, and I'm gonna go hit and. We are out.